three. There it is. The screams you've uh, been waiting for since yesterday. I didn't scream even a little. Did you, Ryan? Nope. I ain't a screamer. I lied. I actually did. I screamed a whole lot. But nobody heard it. It was a little loud. Ah. Oh. So, we completed the World Quacked Center. Yes. And, uh, Not a plane in sight. Oh, well, yeah, left triggers jump. Uh -oh. Ugh. And, uh, yeah, so the last time we streamed this, uh... Oh. Jesus! Good thing we're in the overworld where that doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah, last time we streamed this, uh, the internet was big poopy. It was so... It was so goofy, you wouldn't believe it. Um, and there was a reason that I kind of kept it droning on at the end with, you know, us. Yeah. Uh, because it did end at the point where we stopped progressing but it kind of cut short of the end of our conversation quite a bit and there was a bunch of stuff that was just dropped in the middle so it's just it was a mess but you know you know much much improved uh this time i fucking hope oh yeah quackefeller plaza that's where we gotta go oh next. it says it's good Yeah, I'll go behind. Or the Quackenheim Museum. Hmm. So. Ugh. The thing I forgot <sighs> to talk about. Oh, we don't want to do this yet. This is the boss. Oh. Uh, the thing I forgot to talk about was an anime called Dark Schneider. And now this is an old manga series that had an old uh, OVA that they made for it. I don't even think it finished. And it was like six episodes. Huh. But it is supposed to be a heavy metal fantasy anime. I'll, I'll pull open... Uh, I'll pull up the first anime. Not anime. Manga cover. And I was interested, so I started looking it up, and I started reading it. Uh, let me see here. There's, uh... It's pretty detailed. It's really not. Well, it seems that way to an untrained eye such as myself. Oh, no, it's a lot of fan stuff. Oh. All right, I guess we'll go in. I guess that's a good example. There you go. So, yeah, very much inspired by metal album art. Ah. Uh, there's more perfect examples. Uh, I guess I can go here to find it. But, uh, yeah, like, all of his spells have, like metal band names in them like venom uh guns and roses megadeth uh it has nothing to do with metal music at all just the aesthetic um but there's another reason that i'm there's another reason i'm quite concerned and confused as to how oh right it's called bastard yeah there you go it's got the fucking fantasy adventure 
who, who stands on a, a thing. He's got a sword and a... He's got a... Young girl. Uh, lewdly dressed with her arms around him like, Oh, save me, big yeah. buffed man. And, you know, it's the like... classic. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the actual manga cover arts are great. But... Okay, so... Here's the part where I don't know how the fuck this gets made for Netflix. The animation looks good. You got... Uh, they're making it for Netflix? It's uh, it's being produced by Netflix. Um, oh. Uh. Okay, so we need to find coat ticket number 32. Um, Yeah, it's going to be on Netflix, and Netflix paid for it. So, what the hell is that? Oh. oh yeah. They all shoot. Yeah. That's why. Okay, now I now I can see how multiplayer happens. Um So you got like the director from um what's that Goblin anime? Goblin Slayer. You got like the director from that, somebody who had something to do with Tokyo. Why is the ticket in the You got somebody who has something to do with Tokyo Revengers and um, some some other people who are actually pretty, pretty noteworthy. And you got the band Cold Rain providing some of the music. Not a metal band, but still pretty good. So uh, here's roughly how how Dark Schneider defeats some of his enemies. Because he's such a, a great and powerful wizard. You know, the first first big enemy, uh, well, human enemy that he beats is his old friend. He's a ninja. Doesn't look like a fucking ninja. This is old shit, dude. He don't look like a ninja. He looks like guts, but like sleeveless, and that's it. <laughs> he's like, I'm a ninja, because I have a katana, and my shoulder pads are spiky. Like, oh, okay. He defeats him, cuts off his arm, and then he cuts off his arm, but then both their arms stitch back together, and he's like, you're pretty fun to hang out with, Dark Schneider. And then they fucking hang out. They're friends again. It's like, okay. Easy. Also, they break the fourth wall a lot and talk about the readers. Oh. That that actually, I find that pretty amusing at times. I oh, yeah. They, they do it in a pretty good way. Like, at one point, there's a werewolf enemy, and, um... You know, he shows up and he starts doing stuff and then the main character starts to fight him. And then in the next chapter, he's fighting him again and he's like, you've been here for two chapters. The readers aren't going to like this. So he beats him. <laughs> I was like, fair enough. Good. So, is a Ooh, safe. He, he comes up against uh, a, a girl. And, you know, she she lures him to bed. She lures him into a trap in bed. He's like, oh, no. She slaps a little talisman on his back. Now my spider will attack you and defeat you. And she's like, ha ha. But then he's like, wow, that's a pretty cool trick. And she's like, what the fuck? Isn't that you? No. Because I already figured you were going to do that. And then he fucks her. Oh. Now she's his ally. Next enemy. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no. It's okay. I already got the kid, so it doesn't matter. Next enemy. He thinks it's like a young swordsman who wants to know what happened to his companion, the girl who was out there with her spider talismans. And he's like, I fucked her. And then this little swordsman gets mad. And then Dark Schneider beats him and then uh it turns out the swordsman is actually a swords lady oh and then she ends up fucker she ends up doing a bunch of stuff like to beat him like i'm gonna use this and he's like ah i don't know the name of her god so i can't figure it out shucks but then girl he fucked shows up and helps and then girl mentions her <laughs> her god's name and he just starts laughing he's like now your magic is worthless but wait she summons a 
fucking cockatrice. And he's like, oh, all I have to do is break that gem and then she can't control it. So he does. And then it starts going after her. And so he kills it. Um, and he saves her. And he's like, ah, it's time to suck out the poison. And he eats her pussy out. <laughs> She's an ally now. Yeah, so, I don't see how this is going to go on Netflix. Me neither. Me neither. Why do they even want it? I don't know, dude. They'd be like, this is too misogynistic. We can't. Have yes. It. There are characters in the story who are like, stop forcing yourself on women and making them cry later because you tell them that they're ugly and you don't like them. Oh, yeah, I know this one. Oh. 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 Wait. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. All right. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm actually... Oh my god, you Whoa. are food. Nah. Uh, I don't need it. The thing that I'm actually looking forward to the most with that series is the uh, Cold Rain song that's going to be, I think, the opening. Uh, because it's in the trailer, and I really like it. I used to listen to Cold Rain quite a bit, and then they got fucking boring and samey. Um, dog photography? That sounds like something that would be here today. Oh, I get it. Dogs are uh, colorblind. Well, oh. I thought it was because it was all going to be trash. And it was just pictures of trash cans and dumpsters. No. Because Vigo's a cat. <laughs> Born. Yeah. It's stuff dogs would be looking at, but they're colorblind. Yeah. It's perfect. I need to get me a Game Boy camera. Why? So I take pictures of stuff. <laughs> Why else? Banded bear bikini. Okay. I guess I agree with that statement. Whoa. Hangman got weird. It's too deep for me. These are just their kids' paintings and stuff. <laughs> Look at that being. Look at that dude. <laughs> yeah, these are these are uh, game developers kids drawing shit. That guy wants to create his own multiverse. Very cool. Oh, let me make sure it's not desynced. All right. I got to go back to the dry cleaning room in the Oh, the the clothes. Okay, so this is where you would put your coat. It's not right. Dry clean. Why? Yeah. There's no dry cleaning done here. Why? I'm assuming that's because there's going to be fire. Statue to continuous forms of uniqueness in time. I. Chameleon bots. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a Sega game. Okay. I'm assuming... Oh my god, he dances around. I'm assuming that that first sentence was not translated well. Ow. Damn, he's pretty good. I love his dance. Mm-hmm. said he was pretty good but I lied I was better I lied about that I was better because I had the Uzi you was better because you was better I do like the idea that your puppy was trapped in your in your coat and you send him through dry cleaning yeah it's kind of funny oh that was him putting it in yeah I couldn't tell because he didn't <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I don't know 
know why I did that. Alexander. All right. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the only thing I had to say about uh, Dark Schneider. I I think I'll watch it. So since I'm going through the manga, I might as well watch the anime. Yeah. And uh, cause it's it's still good fun. Uh, it's yeah, his me... color. It's the raccoon's color palette. Ah. Change color palette. Clevore is very smart, very modern. And I was showing Ryan uh, the YouTube channel that cannot be named earlier. I don't know if anything on there is like good, but very unique channel. Yeah, I I think I've a bit strange. I think I've tried to. Um... Oh, don't tell me I gotta get bungalow up here. I think I've tried to make YouTube videos not have titles like that, but there might be like. I don't know what it's called when you hold in like a sequence of keys. Is it like Unicode or something? Yeah. Yeah. I, there might be a way to do Whoa. that. You got a whole exhibit. Oh yeah, the anime is called Bastard. Oh my with, god. With two exclamation marks. Let me fucking... I want to see who, uh, who the people are that are making this. Because I remember they were pretty notable. Oh, there's some rocket ammo here. Hmm. I'm definitely going to take that. Damn, he got wasted. He was absolutely dabbed upon. <laughs> right, what's down here? Very blank brick hallway my favorite kind of hallway. It's the kind you can walk down and not have to think about nothing. Oh. The beetle shield. There we go. Directed by... Okay. Uh, directed by a guy who was involved with Goblin Slayer. Series composition by... Not the composer of My Hero Academia. Because I know who that is. So I guess that guy who worked on it. Okay. Series composition. Does that mean music? Animation production by Liden Films. Tokyo Revengers. Was that animated well? Yeah, it was done pretty well. Yeah, this this looks qu animated quite well. Oh my god, there's even more fucking... <laughs> oh no. There's too much crap in this place. Oh, I love the trailer, though. Looks good. Oh my god. Where'd you go? Oh, did he just despawn because you were far enough? Or uh, is, is it didn't despawn, it just de-rendered him. Oh. I was gonna say, or is he a dirty blinker? Can't use that word, Chris. I like how, uh, when, when I was sending Ryan, like, Images of God. the the different album covers, album covers, game covers, the game cover art for this game. <laughs> Ryan was like, "They're not stuffed animals. What the fuck?" Yeah, they're not. And then and then I sent him another one, and he's like, "They're not stuffed animals." And then we play the game, and he shoots them, and they spit out stuffing. Yeah, it's a stupid concept. <laughs> they're not stuffed they're animals. All they're all toys. It's like, all right, we'll make the game about toys then. Why is it about animals if none of them are actual animals? If they're all toys. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, 
it's like a, a, an extremely narrow combination of things, and I don't know why. It is a bungalow. Why? Why bungalow? It's it, a cat up top. It is a. It is an odd. Uh, you know, promotion for Beanie Babies. Yeah, you could say that again. <laughs> It is an odd promotion for Beanie Babies. Oh, my overshot. Is it a cat up top? Or is it a cat blue? What the heck was I running into a moment ago? Oh, it's this. It's the, oh, oh, the carrier. I don't need that. What? I can just jump on his arm. Ah, uh, whose arm is this? Uh, I think it's Vigo. There's the okay. cat. <laughs> this is pretty funny, dude. Don't ever do it again. Okay, so... We have Juliet. Uh, is it that big normal ramp you can walk up? Or is it... Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Huh? I've done it now. I've done did it, done 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 did I did or did that. I done failed. Done did do or did it. I done, I done made a mistake. I uh I did finish watching Gundam Build Divers Re Rise finally. I, I what? That's a name. Yeah, don't worry. There's worse. Uh. <laughs> second season was no. not as good as the first. Sadly. But, uh, you know, I got to the end of it. The music was still good, and I still like the characters, so, yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. And their, their actual, like, gunpla were, they were fine. You know, it's... The, the build... What was I thinking? The, the build series... I still think, uh, build fighters... Whoa. The first build series, Build Fighters and Fighters Try, were very good. And then Re-Rise was pretty good. The first Build Divers was eh. I get it, but eh. You prefer Build Risers, not Divers. No, that's not real. What you just said isn't real. You're making fun of me. Uh... Oh god, I hear a Chang baby too. It's too much to process. Let me focus on one at a time, please, video game. Thank you. It's one of those sentences that out out of context. <laughs> Sounds really funny. What? Whoa! No, I moved out of the A Chang baby? Yeah. Oh <laughs> It does it does sound a bit illicit. It does sound a little bit suspicioso. Oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I cheated that a little. Good, good, good. <laughs> like, gotta jump for the thing and go. Ew, wow, wow. There it is. Uh, ooh, hey, we're on it. That was. Oh my god, this is terrible. Yeah. Uh, we, we. There you go. You wanna just find a way to die? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that didn't kill me. One more will do. Actually, wait. Can you die from falling damage? I don't know. Because that... There was that one big jump. Oh, yeah. Here. Hey! <laughs> perfect! Why would they put the ladder in a dangerous place? Because it's an old video game, Chris. They didn't give a fuck about the people playing it. Uh, like, let's be assholes and make a video game that's mean. It'll be funny. All of our elevators... And then we'll tell all the kids that can't beat it that they're not skilled or cool. We'll put all of our elevators up to an area, and if they don't get off in time, it closes to the ceiling. Just snaps their limbs off. Yeah. 
Actually, oh. that, that just sounds like Mario. I think I did better than I was supposed to. Oh. Why was smoke coming out of that? I don't know, dude. I think that's part of the part of the show. You think? Yeah. Because I think he has a rocket launcher there. All right. Brigitte. There you go. More like Brigitte. Go make a croissant. Go be elsewhere. Go be a croissant. <clears throat> the croissant you knew you were meant to become. Oh, my. Don't worry, I can just go up the ladder. I was really, really <laughs> hoping it would just crush my head. Yeah. In. That would have been funny. Oh, it's the water that crushes you. That's uh, Bungilo. There's nothing. It's just some bullets and a uh, triangle. Yeah, this is the give up and try again hole. This is boring. As you know, those two things work back I don't want to give up or try again. Just give down and try later, or try not. Try never. There you go. People don't actually like when you speak, Bungalow. Did you know that? All right, get some free rocket ammo. I'm really annoyed that... You need to actually physically touch yeah. an item to pick it up. Like, you can't just walk up and, like, bump into it from the couch and pick it up. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Have, you, uh, have you found any new games or shows to be enthralled in? Uh, new? No. Wow, he just threw me his gun. Pretty chill guy. He did, Spy uh, Family is uh, getting even better. Oh, cool! It's so funny, dude. I'll I'll watch it when it's finished. Yeah, that's what people told me about everything, and then they never do. I will watch it when it's finished, eventually. <clears throat> I got a bunch of shit on a backlog, so. I just don't ever give myself a hey, crocodillo watch time. What did I have in here? Man, they're so durable. Uh, I was writing down some things that I thought were funny. And uh, one of them I wanted to bring up is not my joke and didn't happen on our stream. It happened on somebody else's stream. It was a, a viewer who did a text-to-speech chat for the stream. What the fuck are those? Those are bombs. Yeah. Uh, can you reach? No? No. <clears throat> and, uh... You know, it, to this day, it's still probably one of the funniest things I've ever heard somebody suggest. Yeah. He said, What if JFK's head just did that? <laughs> Nobody shot him, it just exploded. Just did that. Well... <laughs> I applaud his unique take on it. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Like I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna pose that with like different things. Uh, in the what future. What if the towers just did that? What if they just did that, dude? What if, man? Uh, all right. Well, the other thing gave me an idea. Oh, wait, no, the other thing was my attempt at uh, conceiving a funny thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, the word become just sounds like a lazy spell. Hmm. 
Oh, oh, you mean like like get, casting a spell? Yeah. I was like, a lazy spell? Yeah, like, like a lazy magic spell. I don't know. It sounds like it would be spelled normally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it sounds like a very, very brief magic spell. Just turn someone into cum. Yeah. Be cum. <laughs> That's it. And then, uh... The other thing was, a. Uh, a phrase I got from one of the Mortal Engine books, and I thought, that's way too, like, I think it's a bit too, I thought it was clever, and it gave me an idea. Ryan, give me a game title, to, and I will come up with the game. Blood Week. Blood Week, okay. Now, uh, here's the here's my here's my condition. You can you can focus on story. You can focus on gameplay. Any of that stuff. So okay, I got Blood Wake. All right. Hmm. There's bombs up there. I would. I I need to use bombs. Oh yeah, maybe. I would have Blood Wake. I got I got hmm I got two ideas. You could have one set in the old west. Uh, could be one of the, one of the, one of the, one of the Native American tribes who, uh, you know, less asshole-ish, and you're mostly going up against other Native American tribes, or mm -hmm. you are a pile of blood in some kind of sci-fi setting. And when you kill people, your pile of blood gets bigger. So you're a bigger pile of blood. All right. And you, you know, you move around in a Metroidvania style game. Uh, you're an experimental thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe the story is that you have the memories of your body. I wouldn't really provide much of a story. I think that could just be fun. Like world of, uh, Blood. World of goo, but your blood instead. Though there is kind of a game that's like that. I can't remember what it's called. You're like this big tenderly alien that like flings itself around through vents and stuff. Cumulon Wake. Nope, that's... I'm, I'm talking about a game that exists now. Just drawing a comparison. You haven't played Cumulon? But, uh... I can't remember what it was called. But, uh... Yeah. All right, Ryan. I'm gonna give you a game title now. Okay. And it's and it's gonna be, it's gonna be the phrase. Wait, so was I supposed? I was supposed to give you a real game title, right? Uh, I made up one. Oh, well, that was a real game title. Oh. Yeah, make up a game title. Um. Oh, so I'm making one up again? Uh, me? unless you want me to. Yeah, you do it. Okay. I want to see where this goes. Oh, so Valentine's Eve is here. Hello. Hello. Um. So this is this is the clever line that I stole from a book. So, the, your game title is "Delayed Gratification." And you put a comma there, and then in all caps, "Now." Because. <laughs> My first thought was like trying to come up with a game with that title. <laughs> Cause I it's like what I, there's 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 so many things that you could do. I think it's conceptually beyond me. I wouldn't know what to do with it for a game. Like <clears throat> is it that's a paradox. How can you have delayed gratification now? Yeah. Oh, my, dragon. Okay. My, my, my other thoughts for for that phrase were like, uh, well, you like a Rick and Morty sketch selling a product called delay, delayed gratification. Now, Good. do do you like like imagining? Do you want your stock options to finally go big? Well, buy our product now and. It'll, it'll happen, but sooner. Now, even. 
Do you want to build a table by hand? Get yourself delayed gratification now, and it'll happen. You got your table that you worked hard on, and you made it. But you didn't. But you still feel the gratification, <laughs> you know? And you feel it now. Yeah. Very. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be, that's even better. You feel the gratification, but you don't have what... <laughs> You don't have the thing. Yeah. You feel the gratification for carefully assembling your own carpentry product and uh, you didn't actually build it and but, you don't have one. Yeah, you don't have the table, but you have the, the sense of, you know. I don't remember this museum level much at all. I think, I think if I was going to make a game called Delayed Gratification Now, it would just be like, Everything takes too long to do, and there's just a button you can push to make it instantly happen. Oh, hello, friend. And it's always there for everything. Oh. Oh. What does he need you to do? Needs me to go uh, hit the pressure valves. Yeah, I think I think I would have a game that was basically a joke, where it's like this boss has a, a huge amount of health, and whenever you hurt him, it's just like chipping down a little bit. <laughs> but then you can push the you know the now button, and then win. You know, you get your. You get a little bit of experience. You can hit the now button and you level up. You get to a crafting chamber. You have like one of the items and you need 12 others to make this one simple item. You just hit now. <laughs> just a, I'm not going to do that button. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, Ryan. Uh, where's the last thing? Ground? No. I think they hide the last lever. Oh. Or no, it's right here. <laughs> Jesus. Dragon. Another okay. So Ryan, you got a you got a fun game title. I'll you give me one, I'll come up with a game. Um, I'll sell it. Another bung you don't even have any kids here. <laughs> I need to find Tweak. <clears throat> A fun game title. No, it doesn't. It could be anything. There's something you want. You want to see me come up with a game themed around. Um. Also, a very good fallback is just all right. It's a visual novel. <laughs> I realized that when I started coming up with some myself. Whoa! Peacock! Dang, we got a freaking army down here. I'm almost dead. We need Harrison Ford for this museum. Yeah. Ah, oh, munch. Yeah. Oh, these give you two health if you haven't discovered one before. It's uh, oh. mildly useful. Mm. It only gives you one if you've already found it. Mm. Um. Hmm. Oh, someone's up there. How the fuck do you? Oh, those boxes over there. Ah. I got. I got ah. one for you. Uh, worthless trading card adventure. Hmm. Okay. Hey, it's the boy. I think I would make it an, an RPG maker. Okay. And, um... I would have it... I would have it be a turn-based RPG. Just a very standard, standard one. 
But that's just there. And it's all low effort, like bare minimum. Like you've got like attack and skills and you have one skill for the entire game. No, no defend. I guess we'll put leave in there. <laughs> Not escape, just leave. And uh, whenever you loot stuff from enemies, you know, uh, you can you could specifically take items if you really want to. But if you pick take all, it gets rid of the equipment and potions and whatever and takes their trading cards. So you got your trading cards. And like the areas in between are really small. But when you get to the, the towns, the place where people play card games is the biggest building. And the trading card game is more fleshed out. But it would be something that I could conceivably come up with. You know, it's got like lots of commissioned art for all the cards. Weak. I would, uh, and I would have, a. Uh, I would have real time pass in the game. And if you don't get to the end of the game, the big bad end guy shows up and wants to know what the fuck you've been doing with all your time. <laughs> so how do you incorporate worthless trading cards? Because they're all worthless. <laughs> They have no value, and it's it's a it's it's the part that most of the time was spent on in the game. But you know the it 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 would be it would be in in kind of the 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 vein of like how a lot of people who played Witcher Three really liked what is it Gwent Gwent yeah Gwent uh, people who played uh, Final Fantasy VIII really liked Triple Triad. Um, there's a trading card game in Digimon oh World, God. Digimon World 3, you know, it's like these, these little trading card games that they put in these otherwise pretty lengthy and fleshed out games and they spend a lot of time on the trading cards. Whereas with this game, it's like, all right, go be the hero and save the day. But realistically, that's not fun and you wouldn't do that. You would play with the trading cards that don't save anybody. <laughs> it doesn't help anybody. They literally have no monetary value. But when your character, you know, looks for stuff in things, he goes for the cards. <laughs> that's what I would that's what I would do. Alright. Picking up where where you're putting down now. That's what I got. Uh I gotta come up with one for you. A dog. Mm. I know what we do with dogs. <laughs> we can't find a home. <laughs> I know what we does with you. Tweak just eats them. I mean, he's a, he's, a, he's, he's a growing young man. That's right. It's very young. He's minutes old. Why do they give me so much rocket ammo? They really want me to blow stuff up down here. Oh, there's Rufus. He died. And you will join him. Alright, I got a I got a hypothetical game title. Oh yeah? Yeah. The Speed of Dark. The Speed of Dark. It's it can it can be story, gameplay, whatever. Huh. See. Uh So, you know those missions that games give you where you have to follow somebody? Oh, yeah. And uh, But you can't follow them too close? Yes. 
make a game where your character's superpower is that they can become like a shadow mm -hmm. and they have to chase people who are basically like super ninjas who like can speed run through everything okay and you have to keep up with them but you can't ever pass them okay uh, cuz you know if their shadow ends up outrunning them it's going to give you away so you have to you have to keep up with them stay stay in their in their shadow yeah. okay does uh do you think there would be ways to like fuck with lighting effects to make the shadow bigger or smaller so you have to like um i would say like you know walking in dark areas would make you like all like blurry or mm. less defined okay. so make it so that it's harder for you to platform and, and move and see your character if you don't move in the light yeah so maybe you can do stuff to keep light shining on your target okay flipping on switches uh, something like that yeah my my first thought what that that actually sounds pretty pretty good pretty decent uh my first thought was fuck it was a fucking meme where it's like you have to do escort missions use the combination claude the cat knows so why but why does she know it it's not Claude. Oh, Claude. The Claude's her husband. Ugh. So we need to beat Claude and come back here. Yeah. I was just thinking of something stupid where you, you follow people behind them in their shadows. And it is an escort mission, but they're really slow. Like, slower than you walk. Good. So it's just a testament to your patience. Like, you know. Everyone loves a game where they just test your fucking patience. <laughs> That's it. Unfortunately, that was both my last ideas, so. Gotcha. Uh, oh, no, wait. The card game was different. Um, okay. All right. Give me a hypothetical game. What, what do I got? Um, hmm. Mr. Bean's Naval Engineering Adventure. <laughs> All right, so it's a visual novel. <laughs> and you play uh, Mr. Bean. <laughs> oh my god, this goes forever! Yeah, I mean, that's what that fucking seagull was making fun of you for earlier. He what? was like, he was like, you know, go... All right, have fun, go on your adventure of endless hallway drudgery or something. No, he wanted to return to his life of civilian oh. drudgery. Oh, okay. I misheard that. Um, all right. So Rowan Atkinson, Mr. Bean. Since you're the you're the main character in a visual novel. Um, can't go. I, I want to avoid the tropey ideas where you're dating battleship girls because that's already a thing. That idea already exists. Yeah. Hmm, what does he do? So I uh, heard I heard one of Chang's kids here, but I don't actually see any of Chang's kids yeah. here, so it might have been I think I heard it through like the ceiling or something. Yeah. Because I haven't gone up yet. That's just more pet food than good. Am I am I limited on what time period? No, because Mr. Bean could be in any time period. All right, so Mr. Bean receives a letter of Mark. Okay. <laughs> and he has to go on an adventure with his mercenary band of pirates. Okay, and Get, how does naval engineering tie in? With well, that? he needs a boat. Okay. I like it. I like it. And, you know, his adventure is getting together, convincing a group of people to get together with him and help him get a boat built. And everybody's just like, why don't you... Wait, I could have just been Tweak here. And everybody's like, well, why don't you just... You, How did you get a letter of Mark? And, you know, he only makes Mr. Bean sounds. He just goes... Yeah. Magic. You know, he 
He makes bean sounds and bean gestures, and you know, he just do, he he motions to a picture of a boat on a piece of paper. You know, he's like, mmm. and they're like, okay, boat. And then he shows a picture of a hammer. He's like, mmm. Oh, it's Claude. Maybe we'll get the combination here. Oh. Okay. Okay. So you have to actually figure out the numbers. Damn, her husband tall. Yeah. In reverse order. What? Three, two. Oh God. So it was wife bowl yarn. Does he want you to tell him them in reverse? Yeah. So, uh, I think well, this was his least. Oh. And then this oh. was next. Oh, that's for me. Oh. I thought he was putting them in his own order. Like the first one, second one, third one. Oh. 6246. Six. All right, we got to go back down to the vault. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so Mr. Bean needs to get his ship built, and he goes around, you know, this town. He, he runs in a bunch of hooligans at times, and he has to escape, but eventually he gets a group of people together, and they gotta build this ship, and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an adventure of friendship and teamwork, and once the ship is built, the game ends. Good. <laughs> I couldn't really think of anything else because I've I don't play ship games, <laughs> and then you put engineering in there, so I'm just like I don't fucking know. Dude, like nobody plays a net naval engineering game. Well, I don't right. even know without. There's maybe like two games where you build a ship. There's you know? there's there's auto mechanic games. Yeah. And, and there's and there's games about ships. There's a tank builder game that's pretty fun. <clears throat> um, but. Yeah, so that was what that was what that was what I got. Um, all right. <clears throat> something something Ryan is aware of, but is also dumb. Oh god. Well the first is counterclockwise, not clockwise. And six two four. Oh I passed the six. Damn it. Oh. Was I supposed to like pick it? All right, we're gonna try that again. Yeah. Right, so six, two. The first one's counterclockwise, not clockwise. Yeah. You did clockwise. No, I turned that way. No, you turned that way. To get to your uh, first six. Well, why didn't you say so? I did. Why'd it's, you wait until I did the whole thing? Because I thought I was wrong. Oh. Six. Two. Four. Hey! What fucking combination starts counterclockwise? It's weird. 
There's people in here! Yeah. How? Damn. You peacocks die good. He died better. He did. He wasn't gonna be shown up by some bird brain. Fucking babies in a safe. Oh, there are other animals here. I guess Why it, not? Why what? not keep your babies in a safe? I'm just su surprised the peacock survived that long. Well, the first rocket missed. No, I mean like in the safe. Oh. Who knows how many more animals were in here originally. Oh, well, they broke in. Oh! Oh, that's the end of the level. Well, I can't go there. No. I'm going to see what baboos we can find. Probably isn't even one here. Maybe. That would be kind of silly. Just two bad guys in the exit? I don't know. That's, that's the exit. Yeah! Two bad guys in the exit. Unless there's something up over on those areas. You can go over there. <clears throat> Scooby. Cool place. Bad wow. time. Oh, it was so worth it, Chris. We found mm -hmm. golden triangles. Well, you gotta get two more over Ooh, there. You're right. I bet there's two more. We better go get them. Wow. How'd you know, Chris? Did you play this game before? Uh... <clears throat> Ooh. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need the ammo. I don't use the bomb launcher except for bosses. Alright, I got a game I got a game title for you. Oh yeah? Yeah. Collect everything. Hmm. So I imagine it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a procedurally generated game, kind of like Minecraft, mm -hmm. uh, where the objective is to put everything in the entire game in chests or your pockets, and then you eventually want to get the chests in your pockets as well. Mm. So it's like like Skyblock was like, all right, you're only gonna have like a couple of things, right? Like you have to, you have to, with those few things, produce the entire world through like block multiplication and crafting and stuff like that. Yeah, this is the reverse of that. It's like we're going to create an expansive, completed world, and you're going to figure out how to break it all and put it in your pockets. Okay, that sounds like it could actually be a game. It sounds insufferable, and I would. Hate yes. It. Oh my god. I was uh. What 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 I thought of when I imagined it was um. Don't like, you love this music? Oh my god! I just love hearing that same. We gotta switch characters so we can change up the instruments. Yeah, but um, what what I imagined was uh like a a, a you know a, a platformer kind of like you know banjo and kazooble. Yeah, but. You have the collect button, and uh, whenever you talk to anybody, you can collect them. Oh. You collect the, all the items. You can defeat enemies by collecting them. And once you collect all the enemies in a stage, there's no enemies anymore. And, um, you know, once you, once you collect all the stuff in the level, you can collect pieces of the level. So you have to find ways to get to each part of the level and then just take it. And then eventually at the end it's a void. Good. And then it's it says the end and then you hit collect one more time and it grabs that and the game just closes. And then you look in the game files and you were deleting the game's files. So now it can't boot. Ah. Yeah, I gotta push that bowling ball. <clears throat> I need to become the bungalowed. Hey, okay. whose, whose child is here? Bungalows. Oh, you can tell he's going, whoa! That doesn't indicate fucking anything for me. Really? No. Bungalow goes, whoa. He goes, 
<laughs> no, when he jumps, he was just doing it. See? It's the same sound effect. It's just like pitch. I can't. Pitch I can't shifted. fucking pay attention to what these monstrous beings utter. The hell are you doing up here, idiot? You you could have just gotten down. You're a kangaroo. Uh, maybe I need a rocket for this. I don't think you do anything with that. Yeah, I do. Oh. Well. I have to push it to knock down the bowling pins downstairs. Yeah. Almost took you. Yeah. Is it going to smash the pillars that are down here? No, it's going to knock down the bowling, bo the bowling pins. What bowling pins? I didn't see that. Just trust me, Chris. They're there. <laughs> He's okay. Yeah. Good lord, it's... Oh. Oh. I get the rocket launcher. That you already have. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Ryan, you got a game title for me? Let's see. Uh, let's do uh, Spitman and TJ Maxx. Okay. Spitman and TJ Maxx. Well, my first, my immediate idea is, uh... I don't even know what they sell on a TJ Maxx, so... Oh, that doesn't matter. That's just the setting. That's yeah. the backdrop. You know, like, it pans in. And, you know, my first thought was just oh a... Oh, my God. ...was just a, a wacky 2D platformer where you go through TJ Maxx and you are spitting at employees. It doesn't kill them. It just causes them to get really upset. And then, eventually, they run away. But then their manager shows up, and you got to spit more. And, you know, eventually, you fight TJ Maxx, the logo. <laughs> it falls off the store, and you got to spit on the electronic wires that are hanging off of the back end of it. But I thought of a better idea. Yeah. Poorly made source engine game. It's like really dramatic. And it shows your guy walking up with like a trench coat, sunglasses, you know, with cool <laughs> music. And then you get in there and it's just like TJ Maxx radio, like generic radio shit. And whenever you hit spit, he goes, and you just spit on, um, as many employees as you can good and more employees it, ju it just it's a, it's an endless it's an endless gauntlet endless endless spit and you gotta you gotta drink water too oh you gotta, okay you gotta find water so you can fuel your spit yeah I never found chang's baby despite hearing it i think you might have been hearing chang's baby in your <laughs> Maybe that's where he kept it. I gotta punch some of these into the fucking... Into the image generator. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I also gotta look up. Uh, Oliver and. Oh, he died in like two hits. What the deal with that? This one costs money. That's why people use it in Discord. Oh. It doesn't cost. Oh, 
Must be good if it costs money. It's quite fucking good. Tweak again? Dude, this is like your... This is like your moment, dude. There he is, Spitman in TJ Maxx, I guess. I like the bottom left one. Really hope. Whoa! I really hope this doesn't backfire and create something that would be considered a felony. <laughs> ah, yes, the the <clears throat> art museum's. Whoa, whoa, we were. <laughs> it's the demon core. Magnetic meteorite. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, wait. I want to see what it comes up with. Also, uh, when I was coming up with this, with this idea... But I'm still canny. No. Ah. What? <laughs> oh, the magnetic meteorite. Oh. I'm so old and useless. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I almost want to just give him the key back. Yeah. Man, that was really long, too. They really just... They, 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 uh, they hulked him. Did the Hulk walk and everything? Just needed the sad piano music. Um, one of the when I was coming up with this idea for a video game. Oh my god! That's not. There's no demon core in this. There's none. It's pitiful. Um, one of the game titles I came up with was uh, my boyfriend is the demon core. Oh. And so I. And then I immediately thought of something. I was like, oh, it's a visual novel. And one of the few women scientists working on the Manhattan Project is, uh, you know, the demon core starts talking to her. And, and you know, because he, he, he can't talk to anybody else. And then eventually, you know, she, she starts to really like the demon core. <laughs> Good. But then one day the scientists discover, hey... There's something on the demon core. What's this doing here? And then eventually, it's determined that she probably hallucinated and she's got a bunch of radiation or something. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I can just... Oh! Look at that, look at that. Yeah. Handsome young man. I sneeze on the glass and it breaks. made it a fucking incognito tab out of habit. Or did I? No. What are you searching on Dolly? No, I, I always do incognito tabs at work. Because oh. I don't want any of my passwords to stay. Or, or my emails or anything. Oh, I remember this challenge. <laughs> I need to... Oh, I need to use laser reflecto. Oh, yeah. You need to use refraction. Yep, okay. So you got that. Oh, oh, right! You mentioned that! Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that you had to put something Schwan. there. 
I, I remember before you were just like, yeah, Chang can get through it because he just walks under it. Yeah. But you had to put a little bit of prismatic refractoids. Oh my god, it's literally another one of... Oh, it's down in the vault now. Oh. Well, that's the last baby, so... I mean, it'll be easy to get to now. Did you want it? Yeah, but it's down at the exit, so I just have to go to the exit now. I can leave. What was the point of the diamond? Um, the diamond doesn't matter. Oh, I thought so. Okay. Uh, Hank Hill's funeral. He's alive and at his funeral a lot in these. Well, yeah, my favorite one is this. Unless he's, like, taxidermied in these pictures. Because I think that's supposed to be Bobby. But it's not. It's... Bobby's wearing his dad's shirt, but it has two pockets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly. That, was... that one looks like he's just like, I'm not dead. It got out. <laughs> that one, it just is his funeral. Ow. Holy crap. Holy crap. There's not supposed to be as many people here. Holy guac. Oh my god, stop <clears throat> shooting me. Oh yeah, the thing the thing with the Oliver AI, uh, you can't put in any bad words. Oh. Yeah. This you can put in whatever you want, but it's also not that great. Uh, the Oliver AI, like, I think uh, I've seen the Oni boys playing with it, and they, they tried to put in, you know... Fat Bastard, character from an Austin Powers movie, sitting on the earth. And it didn't like the word bastard. Oh, pee fucking Shaw. Yeah. You got a bunch of prudes here. Yeah. Heck with walking down the normal way. Couldn't you just drop to the bottom and then start hovering? Yeah, but I don't want to go all the way to the bottom, so... Oh! Figured the basement would be in the bottom. Oh, wait, no, there's another baby. Yeah, it's in the basement. Oh. But you have to go through the second floor here to get to the basement. You can't go to the basement from the first floor. Where the hell is it in the basement? It's in the vault that we opened. But we already went in there. Yeah, but the diamond lowered, and the baby was on the diamond. Oh, okay, so there was a point to the diamond. I didn't know a baby was on it. Wait, am I... Where the hell am I? This game is too big for its age. Yeah, this is the right path. Thank God. No, do racist, um, uh, Miss Frizzle. <laughs> She's not married? No. Huh. Miss Frizzle, Miss Frizzle. You look like you touched the outlet twice. I seen a fucking, uh... All oh, right, I can get the bug shit. Are you familiar with the, the content creator Anne Reardon? It sounds like Anne Rand. Uh, she's an Australian cook lady, and she basically... She made some videos debunking, like, co cooking hacks. She's like, yeah, this is not... I think I've seen something from them before. She's good. She's quite good. Um, now, recently, she's just kind of gone in on all the hacks. Like, the life hacks, the DIY stuff. And, like, I saw a video that she did recently uh, talking about the fractal wood burning. Where I didn't know this... Like, I understand fractal wood burning. I don't. You fucking... Oh. Uh... I guess she's a racist. Looks, <laughs> looks like she's in The Simpsons. <laughs> Is she racist because that's how her hair looks? No. She's made racist because uh, The Simpsons is racist. So oh. the closer it looks to The Simpsons, the more racist it is. But uh, I so, guess. 
So fractal wood burning is you get a piece of wood, you get water on it, and then you get some other kind of thing on it that I can't remember what it is. And then you get two metal nails and you hook up a positive end to one metal nail and a negative end to the other metal round. R round? Metal nail thing. And uh, it creates a path of like lightning through the wood and it looks really cool. Hmm. It's actually pretty cool. What I did not know is that all of the instructions that people give on how to do this tell you to use a transformer from a microwave. Weird. I'm not what I would consider very intelligent. But I know you do not fuck with a transformer from a microwave. Why not? They're pretty scary. Yeah, yeah. but if you want to get some electrons going, you know. There are safer ways to put out some electricity. Uh, having the transformer of a microwave just like sat on a surface, plugged into the wall, and you know, hooked up to some nail. It's like, I would not fucking do that. I, I would come up with a safer way to do that. Like, would not. It's, but it's because it fucking, uh, it's converting, uh, I can't remember how much electricity, but it's converting it to like 2,000 volts. Okay. And like, she, uh, she was talking about it because there's a lot of people who have died trying this. Cool. Um, because, like, you know, this is this is just a transformer. So unless you have somebody nearby to unplug it, if you get shocked, you you are likely, more than likely, to just die instantly. Like, you could touch the wood. You could touch, I mean, the transformer itself, uh, the metal contacts. I seen uh, one of the videos that is out there is a dude who literally has like the jumper cables um, in his hands clipped onto the, the nails. And he's like touching the different parts of the wood and creating different patterns in different places. He fucking burned the shit out of his hands eventually. Huh. And he had insulated gloves. It melted the gloves to his hands. <laughs> It's like, it's just really not safe, but, yeah. So All right, time to fight a boss. Cool. We're going to go free Tweak's mom. Really? Yeah. Huh. You don't remember the I giant do. scary dragon? I do. I just didn't know that was the goal in the city. Yeah. God, you've got... You've got the the world hub, and then you've got hub worlds. Yep. Jesus. Yeah, this game's big. Yeah. This is really big. It's going to take longer than Vermilion to beat. It might, actually. Yeah. Especially since there's some puzzles that are kind of tricky. I mean, they were tricky for my, like, sixth grade brain. Well, there's... So maybe they won't be too hard. But... Yeah, there's... there's tricky and then there's like time consuming oh what up dog oh wait, we don't want to be here no we need to go to the quackefeller center i thought that said fuck fuck fighter or something <laughs> go to yif fighter village go to yif town usa you won't believe what you're gonna find there Lots of health. Ugh. I don't think there's too much of a puzzle with this fight.
I remember saving Claude was a real pain in the ass. Oh. Oh, so they took husbands and parents and all that? Yeah. Oh, you took the fucking helicopter that had the King Kong in it. Yeah. Cool. Is it better if you play, uh, Tweak or... Well, there's going to be mechanics in the fight that will be exclusive to that character. Can you enter the fight as somebody else? I think so, yeah. Huh. Whoa! Metal Mom. Yeah. Cool. No, 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 no. Don't fly over there. Don't <laughs> fly over there. I hate this guy. Wait, that is... They put her in a robot? No, it's armor. They put her in a robot. No, it's mind control armor. They put her in a robot. They didn't. Stop saying that. They put her in a fucking uh. robot. Ooh. Getting a little silly. <laughs> Frolicking. Uh. This is just Ninja Blade. Oh my god! Alright, now you gotta make your way to her. Yeah. This is Ninja Blade. Ninja Blade copied Fur Fighters. Ah, oh, mechanics from other levels. Yeah, they're doing it. Coming back. Hi, Mom. Ow. I'm gonna download your RAM, you raggedy bitch. <clears throat> She's pretty easy. Yeah, and this mostly black. because Tweak has no abilities that really work well for a boss fight. So, hmm. Like, do the, do the others? Uh, a little bit. I also think, you know, it's just, it's the first one, so. Hmm. First boss is always supposed to be easy. I figured Tweak is the only one with, like, an ability that you can use in other situations. Well, aside from Bungalow. Bungalow's got his hippity hop, his big jump. Rufus, he needs a hole. Uh, oh. French Cat needs a wall. Chang needs a hole. Rico needs water. The uh, oh. Hi, mom. I think I'm missing one of the characters. No, I think that's it. Yeah, fucking tweak and bungalow. Are, are, are guys who can move around a bit better with their abilities. Unless you mean, like, their melee stuff? Um. There she is. Oh, there's mama. There's big mama. Big mama's big, fat, fucking greasy wedding. I'm just going back to the machine. That's really easy. Only way to save your mom is to shoot her repeatedly in the face with a submachine gun. Do it. Otherwise, uh, I will. And I'm a better shot. I'm a ghost. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate the walrus guy. He just shows up and explains the obvious half the time. The rest of the time, he fucking is just like... You have to find the six pack that was delivered by um, Bacchus himself in order to convince this guard. Which actually, now that I'm saying that, that sounds more like an adventure quest fucking puzzle. Jesus. I 
wanted the bullets. I wanted the bullets, mother, please don't kill me. I just wanted the bullets. Ah, they don't give you a lot of ammo in the lower level. They Hello. just give you a bunch of health. Yes. And tell you you can do it. Because all the windows look like buttons. They are buttons. Yes. They're buttons that Whoop. Buttons that open doors. I thought I saw it a secret, so I wanted to check it out, but oh. uh, it's not a secret. It's just a ledge that you can kind of be on if you want to. It is allegedly a secret. Oh, well, I thought the lift was going to beat me down. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. It beat you down. Hey. We're laughing. We're hooting. Uh... So everybody's got, like, a family member or something to save? Yeah. Okay, aside from their babies. The babies are the side quests. Yeah. How unfortunate. Well, if you have your significant other, you can always make more. That's true. Or your mom. Apparently. Mm. <laughs> it was a solid line of logic until... I remembered who we're rescuing right now. What's the big fucking Jupiter feet? Huh? These? Yeah. Oh, it's smoke from the building she breathed fire on. Speaking of things Mother breathed fire on, uh, why isn't she here? <clears throat> Mom? Hello? Ma! That weird fucking cat is back. <laughs> Ma! <laughs> Man! That's a great cat. Oh. I see mother. Oh, yeah, she's moving. Look at her. Oh, she's stuck. Oh, no. I guess he can fly down and shoot her. There she is. There she fucking is. I don't think it's... Yeah, we can just fly down to here and shoot her. I I don't ever recall this happening, but okay. Uh, yeah. about us. Land here so you don't get stranded somewhere. Yeah, but now I can't aim down. You can over here. Oh, I hope you're right. Yeah. I hope you're right, laddie. Just keep going over this way and... Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you go further... Whoa. Let's hope it works. Nope, it doesn't count. Uh, Wait a minute. Is her body, like, fucked up? What? Look at where her... Look at where her tail is. Yeah. What's it... Oh, she's flying down. Yeah. I see. You idiot. Well, I'm just throw myself off the cliff here. Back at the star. What a goofy idiot. <clears throat> oh, do I really have to do it all? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, of course you do. <sighs> Can I skip this at least? No, I can't skip it. Old games hate that. People not experiencing the content that they worked on. Ugh. All right. All right, Mom, you made your point. I like to imagine flying creatures. They don't ground their kids. They fly their kids. You're not allowed to land. Yes. <laughs> My wings will get really tired, Mom. Stay up there for as long as possible. Or until I tell you that you, uh, you can calm down. Uh. Where did I type in this? Oh, yeah, for the Just 
type in rare trading card. Mm. I want to see what it thinks qualifies as uh, exceptional. I'll see about getting that Oliver.ai on a on a server. Mm. Oh, I got some more NES games. Oh, um, yeah, most of them are pretty fucking solid. Uh, one of them really impressed me. It was called Star Tropics. Just a fun little adventure game where you jump on platforms and there's secrets everywhere. You use a yo-yo and throw torches to fight enemies. It's pretty cool. Uh, the other ones were uh, Rocketeer, which is just oh, a... Oh, no. Oh, she'll come down. Yeah, you can hear her. Oh! The other one was Rocketeer. Uh, just a basic 2D side scrolling platformer with a lot of weapon options. A little rough, but pretty pretty well made. Also, Rocketeer, solid movie. Um, another one was called Archon. And I think it it's like tagline is something about the light and the darkness. I don't really know. But when I booted it up and it wanted me to pick light or dark, my immediate thought was just, this is chess. And then it said, do you want light or dark to go first? And I said, this is chess. And then all the characters came out onto the board. And it was chess? It was chess, but bad. Oh. Like, your pieces can move in weird ways, and when you meet other pieces, they go to a battlefield, and you use them to fight. And it's basically a difference between either you smack them, or you shoot a projectile. That's it. Good. Uh, your, your main... Your king is a sorcerer. Um, and, uh... He can do a bunch of spells. Some of them are good, some of them are not. But uh, the the dark team actually gets something called a shapeshifter, and what he does is whatever enemy he meets, he just takes their shape. So he's he's now that entity versus the same thing, essentially. Oh. oh. I hope this doesn't bug out the boss again. It probably will. I land in the elevator, crushes me. I mean... That'd be funny. What else did I get? A fucking... Oh, I found, I got an, uh, an English copy of Milan's Secret Castle. Uh, the game where you run around and shoot your fucking sleep bubbles at everything. Because if you don't... Oh, good, she's here. You can't win. Or progress. And then the other two, I think, were kind of not good. Bugs Bunny's crazy castle was nothing. Like, two minutes of, oh, I see what this is. One more. What the fuck was it? What the hell even was it? Oh. Defeated. Yeah. Mother has been defeated. Oh, she still... Her head hurts me. Yeah. Ah, yes. That was proportional. Yeah. Genetic mutation. They turned her into a robot? Are you ready to go on? So is Mother going to be back at the island now? Yeah. Cool. That's neat. Bit confusing. It... <laughs> Genetic mutation apparently puts you in a, a suit of armor. No, it turned her body into a robot. Oh, okay. You better stand down, Captain. <laughs> Hmm. 
Man, I can't remember what the other fucking game was. Tweak, indeed, my friend. Baseball. This is a baseball card. Good. Oh, go back to the fur fighter. Carry on your adventure from there. All right. Good. Ah, there it is. I was going to visit Beaver Dam before I died, but there doesn't... Perhaps you can... Maybe you can use this entry permit. Wow. It's sir. A clipboard. Sir, how did you have this? And why would you keep it at all? You're a ghost. You can just go there. Because you're a ghost. Don't use logic on that man, all right? He can't take it, evidently. Ah. All right, that's East Side Quack. Tweak's mom is awfully svelte for someone who has laid hundreds of eggs. Maybe it's because they're eggs. I guess. Just, you retain your form better if you lay eggs rather than beings. Maybe that's what I should have been doing all this time. Laying eggs? Could have maintained my form. Whatever that even means. Oh, and the town fills up with the with the chillins. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> uh, I think I can go to <clears throat> go to Tweak's house. Can you play the games here now? Yeah, I think so. Now, real life Naruto just looks like Naruto. I like that dude. He's pretty cool. You know, it wouldn't hurt so much if... Yeah, I think I can... Hello, cat lady. Oh, no, it's the sliding block. Jesus fucking Christ. It's an intense game. This is the most scary thing I've ever seen. Well, now you can do it. Wow. Can you leave? I think I could. I could, I could potentially leave. Well, that's your choice. Play the worst kind of puzzle in the world. Or not. Uh. Fuck, I wanted to type something into this that was similar to the trading card thing. What was it? supposing it is, idiot. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. I don't know what the bottom half of that shit is, but... Okay, so I need to go... Okay, so... That's an order. That's... Now that's an order. Yep. <clears throat> Ryan loves him a good puzzle. I'm gonna send this to myself. does the green go? Over here. Yeah. But it needs to be... Hmm. Hmm. 
just reminds me of uh, the that Mickey game that we played. Yeah. So that's right. I not have I'm starting to doubt which oh, side of his head that oh. goes in the top right yeah yeah there we go <sighs> Jesus Christ Ugh. <laughs> uh, so there there is um if you complete these mini games Mm -hmm. uh, you get a cheat code unlocked for each one. Oh! But you have to you have to do like the whole thing. So Jesus, I was thinking it was just going to be one puzzle and then oh. turn into a whole ordeal. Yeah. Uh, Turned into a spore deal. Right, I'm just gonna check up here real quick. Any new guns unlocked? No. Probably not. Uh, I saved this image because I want to tweet it out one day. Me and the boys playing Magic the Gather. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is Cape Canardo. I'm gonna go there. Uh, whoops. Where's the dam? Where's the dam, dam? Oh, it's over here. Where's the fuck dam? The dam and the dam. To beaver power. Chef Boyardee's nuts. <laughs> it's good. I like that. You're a smart man. I don't remember the dam. I remember the mine. Unless this is the mine. Oh, sorry, day for beavers everywhere. Don't be so wet. You guys swim. I like how they did the helicopter. Just solid rings. Oh, there you go. The Vigo copter. Oh, is that what that is? Oh! Good! This creepy baby. You don't look like a cat! That's exactly what sort of cat you are. And if you think... He just shoots him. The only sort of mind you'd concern you with my displeasure at the delay. <laughs> he did a good job with his voice. I still think so. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting... <laughs> More Vigo copters. Oh, oh, that's still a lot of wheels. Fuck <laughs> it! <laughs> oh my god. The fucking bears show up. Ah. The bears come stumbling up the helicopter. Oh my god. And if they don't, yeah, then I'll melt them. Who that? That's Rico's sweet. Uh, water babe turned into a sea monster. Oh, she didn't get robotized too with genetic mutation, did she? I think she did. Probably. I think she probably did. That would be funny. Uh, really doesn't want to make Chef Boy RD with a gun. I gotta admit, Chef Boy RD tastes a lot better when they make it out of spaghetti sauce and noodles.
He said make it with a gun. Uh, does make sense. Oh, okay, so this is the area. Then head for God Machine. Yeah. Head through this door. But looking at your ass. So he gave you the order of the worlds. What the fuck? A small being. Uh, is it violent? No, I guess not. Oh! Well, it's dead. It might be a lot of things, but live isn't one of them. <laughs> Good. Um, I like this one because they look like fucking Peter Griffin hands <laughs> yeah. for a moment and then I like the top center one. He looks <laughs> terrified of his own armaments. <laughs> He's trying to reload it. Oh, plasma. I guess we're going to get a plasma gun soon. That's pretty cool. Flip through them. So. Choose your character. Yeah. Truck freak. Crazy ass. <laughs> the fighter. This this looks like fucking the thing where they're handing you a, a joint. <laughs> but he's handing you a gun that's facing both ways somehow. It's great. Ooh, Dreamcast is getting a little crunchy. It's always crunchy. The drive on that thing is powered by, like, 12 horsepower, so, you know. Whenever it, whenever it needs to move, it goes like... <clears throat> Bear fud. Bear fucks. Hey, new song. I can't wait to hear it for the next hour. Oh, my God. What was he even doing? Falling. <clears throat> I'm surprised they had an animation for him falling. Oh, I heard a cat. Oh my god, I decapitate! Oh my god! I actually took his damn head off! And you can kick it around. Good roll, dude. <clears throat> dude. They've always had good combat maneuver. Oh. They're right next to each other! That's right, Chang. Scream. That's how you prove the justice of your culture. The Hong Konganese. <laughs> he's from Hong Kong. It's true, he is. He's Hong Konganese. Well, they just gave this one to you. They're probably just making sure that you're yeah. familiar with this. Yeah. In case you fucking hacked the game. Well, because the babies are optional, so you might not have actually done anything with um, Juliet yet. That's true. What is speed I don't know why I thought of Julian. It's like, you might not have done anything with Julian yet. That's funnier. I mean, it would be funny. Perfect. Just replace the head with Julian. Yeah. Fur Fighters speed run. Oh, they do individual levels. Oh, there's a ladder. The ladder isn't real, though. Yep. They got a... Uh, not a lot of people do any percent. Oh. Oh. A starter handle. Is th This is speedrun.com. Yeah. One dude does 100 percents. And then one guy did any percent. He beat the World Quack Center in five... Yeah, it's all individual levels. And nobody has done all of them. Like, you look at this. They're just empty. Wow. And then I scroll down and there's like nothing. Hmm. I feel like I want to try and get on top of this, but I don't see how I can do that. It's that big rock thing. Oh, okay. I seen something at the. Is that the entrance? Uh, it looks like an entrance. Oh, nope. It was a ruse. Mm. 
I don't think there's actually anything to get though once you're on it because there's nothing on top of this thing here, so. Yeah. It might just be a. It might just be a obstacle. Not a lot of speed uh, runs for this game. A doggo. What the fuck is that doing here? <laughs> Fucking Patrick Star ass. Fucking master tactician. Wah! He knows the way. Just keep shooting until it stops. That's, that's what, what I do. That, that's when CPS shows up and says, You didn't finish? Man, he was tough. He done ate all his liver and onions. He done consumed all the lead, shell and all. <laughs> ah, thank you for the instructions. He installed... Cat go up. What the hell? What is that? I'm trying to think of a certain kind. Oh, canapes. Yeah. Canapes? Yeah, it's a type of hors d'oeuvre. I was thinking is like... Is it just a can of peas? No. So what does it sound like? Uh, it was, a. Uh, Are you gonna eat that can of peas? You gonna eat that can of pay? You gotta, you got can, can you help and hand out the can of pay, the can of peas? So like, why are you handing out can of peas to your wedding people? No, they're can of pay. What the, what's a can of peas doing at a wedding? She give them something fancy like whores d'oeuvres. <laughs> Whores de Ovras. <laughs> Hand this out. That's what I mean. The Whores de Ovras. Yes. The Whores de Ovras. <laughs> but I was thinking about a, uh, a bullet themed canopy. I done seed it. I done seed the hole. I done dug the dug. Here we go. Done dug did a hole. I'm going down the hole. I love his. <laughs> you have two jobs, Rufus. Shoot and dig in a hole that was already dug. I hear. <clears throat> ah. Ah, the peacock. Oh. <laughs> Damn, rockets are pretty good. They are slow moving though, so you got to be careful. I love when the birds go, ow! Sometimes I'll say that, but not often. Uh, he missed every shot and then died as he lived. Going, Ugh. I, uh, I think I, I told you about it in a, in a message, but uh, yeah, the, the only thing I got going on at work is our senior member who was going to be here for going to be there for oh no she'll she'll be like right on the cusp of like uh 13 years and uh yeah she's fucking leaving cool yeah going that to makes you the senior uh not quite it does it, as far as the company but as far as the property, I'm still a year behind one other person. One year. Uh, otherwise, there's people who have been there for much longer than me. Uh, but they're part of different departments. I'm going to put the jetpack on the dog indoors and watch him smack into the window. Because you can't see goes. it. Let's see where he goes. Let's see where he goes. Nobody knows where the dog goes. What the dog do? Where the dog go? What does the dog perceive? But yeah. Um. Uh, she'll be leaving us, so things are gonna change quite a bit. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Like what? Um. Well, we're not gonna have the person who knows most things about the residents. Because they always come down and talk to her. Now we're not going to have that, so... Residents are going to not like it. But they'll understand. They're, they are also 
uh, complaining, saying, hey, how come I'm seeing one person at the desk when there should be two? And uh, why are so many people like have, have been quitting in the past, I don't know, six months? So, and you know, they're, they're, they're saying, you know, well, we should be paying them more. Nope. That's not going to happen. I was told we were going to get some kind of raise in July, so I guess we'll see, but it's not going to be much. Yeah, it'd be lucky if it even puts a dent in inflation. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is obnoxious. Yeah. We uh, can climb all the way up here. We have our, uh what my what my previous manager called the merit based raise which, oh, <laughs> landed right on yeah uh the merit based raise is the one that we get every year hmm. which is a weird name for a raise because you stuck around i wouldn't consider a shitty father being very meritocratic merit yeah meritocratic because he stuck around i mean it's something yeah but you know if you if you beat your loved ones maybe you shouldn't stick around there's that yeah but uh yeah so this this rate a raise in July and then something in uh, December or January it's like yeah you think I bow to you down there that'd be something but we're st you know we might catch up with the other properties but yeah so that's uh yeah otherwise uh, I'm just I'm just trying to get along with my overnight shift I love it. Because I don't have to deal with half of the shit that everybody else has to deal with. And I, I know how to do the security part, so. I've started looking into getting uh, the different levels of security licensing. Because uh, armed security pays a lot. And it's, I, I enjoy security. And I can be armed, so... Might dig into that. I di what I didn't realize, I know that level 2 is unarmed. I know level 3 is armed. I did not know that there was something called level 4. Extremely armed. <laughs> uh, bodyguard. Oh. Yeah. If you have a level 4 security license, you can be a bodyguard. You think you could just take a piss and then come out and shoot me? No. Extremely armed. <laughs> I mean, I've seen uh, private security that is fucking armed like that. Like, this dude was strapped the hell up. He had blades and guns all over him. He had a fucking duster. Just... A duster? Yeah, it's a, like a it's like a trench coat, but... Oh... Wow, what a nerd. Uh, but, I hope you made fun of him. Oh, no, I didn't. I saw an image of him on the internet, and everybody was like, that's just fucking Blade from the comic books. Because yeah. he looked like, he just looked like fucking Blade, and he was great. I was like, hell yeah, man. That's, that's exactly what I want my private security to look like. Die. Ugh. <laughs> you thought he died so hard he lost frames. <laughs> You're still alive? Yeah. The crocodillos are have always been pretty strong. I hit he needed three rockets. That's ridiculous. Absolutely no shooting. Can I go in? I can. Is it... Is it gonna... Try Wait. to equip your melee. 
No hand flames. Cigarettes. No naked flame cigarettes, cigars, candles, uh, Bunsen burners, Roman candles, campfires, arc welding equipment, uh, torch welding, matches, torch welding, torch welding, something. People, people called. People called 101. Signal flares. Hurricane lamps. Oh. Spare. Uh, spark plugs. Oh, I thought that said spare mugs. Giant focusing lenses. Yeah. Flamethrowers. Barbecues. Cub scouts with thing. sticks. Yeah. Uh, protesting monks. Oh. Oh, oh no. my <laughs> God. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> or nylon slacks and absolutely no shooting. So n nothing against guns. No shooting. Right, but you can bring guns in. Yeah. Oh, it just takes your guns. That's lame. No, it didn't take my guns. I just have my melee out. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh I hear a bungalow child. Yeah. Good thing their melee attack is kind of bad. Oh, okay. So I need to get bungalow and come over there. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot of these guys. Ow. 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 Fucking guarsh. This is... Exactly like a part in Resident Evil 4, I can't remember. Oh, it's the uh, <clears throat> the thing suspended over the canyon, and there's the boss. Yeah. There, like... Oh. Woo! You looking forward to Resident Evil 4 being remade, Ryan? Uh, well, they said it was a reimagining, so no. <laughs> yeah. Nobody said they could reimagine things. You think, uh, you think you might play it, or do you think you'll see it first and, you know? Is it even going to be available on PC? I assume, yeah. What else would it be on? Who knows, man. Piss 5? Oh. Shh, a pro... A set square. I, yeah, yeah. Just what I always wanted. Pretty sure there's another name for it that's more accurate, but sure, it's cool. Stupid. Uh, R E 4. Shit. I typed in R E 4 space 4. Tuh. Resident Evil 4 4. Oh, yeah. Uh,. It's also being developed for Series X, Series S, and PC, along with PS5. Oh my god, what is happening? You're going into the ether. A divine light. Occurreth. Oh no! Oh wait, am I supposed to be here? I don't think I'm supposed to be here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not. Fuck. What are you talking about? There's bibbles. You're right. Anywhere there's bibbles. God doesn't forgive others. Whoa! Fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck! I'm not forgiven by my lord. Need to get more fucking petrol. Gotta get me kid, Morty. Oh, fuck. God. Gotta get me kid. What a fun area. Will get me wee bab. Nothing I love more than platforming in a claustrophobic area where you're not allowed to shoot with fucking airplane controls yes. on one stick. I was gonna and say, no other stick. Yeah, I was gonna say with a with a Dreamcast controller. 
There's something over here. Yeah. Yeah, this is how you get up to the other area. But they make you go all the way around. Whoever designed this was evil. Oh, there's there it is. Yeah, the god beam. Well, no, I meant this. <laughs> Fuck! I'm gonna, can you just can I'm you just shoot myself? No, you cannot just slip slop over no, there. No, you cannot. You gotta do it all over again. <laughs> Yep, you gotta do it all over. You gets to repeat the process before you begin the process twice. Thankfully, he jumps so high, yeah. I can just spam jump, and they're never gonna fucking bite me. Yeah. They can bite me, though. Mm-hmm. Not in, like, the friendly sense, in the... in the or, the... or the physical danger sense. More like the... I don't like you sense. The... in, in the... In the die, but not right now. I hope your brain withers. Suffer, but a little. All right, we do. Yeah. Oh Look my god. That. Oh my god. We can see rafters. Is there shit in the rafters? Don't talk to me. It doesn't look like it. No. Okay. Good. Yeah, you're good. So you gotta find the bungle child. Oh, I just want to see what ammo is. Yeah, I got one. I hear the bungled <laughs> child, but I do not see him. Oh, he's probably tucked away in a corner somewhere. He's probably in the god light over there. He might be, he might be. Maybe he's refusing to render because he actually likes mom more. <laughs> Imagine your children don't render because they don't want to be seen by you. <laughs> There's the god door. He sounds close. He's probably right in here. Oh. Mm. He oh, is. Is he? Yeah, I just gotta... I just gotta shoot the lock off. Oh! The guard certainly did his job. Yeah. He could have... He could have chomped that baby just like... Like that. His job isn't to kill the baby. Why? Yeah, those guys are fucking incredible. You can kill them with two rocket, two shotguns, or maybe three, or you can kill them with fucking three rockets. Mm. Oh. Why don't they have a way out? Oh, of you, oh yeah, they do. It's through that door over. Th yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you just opened your mouth to me. Just this. shoot. <laughs> just shoot. I have no idea what's gonna fucking You'll die happen. and you'll go back to where you picked up Bungalow. You already got the kid. Well, I picked up Bungalow in here, so it's not even, wouldn't even save oh, me any time. Oh, you're right. It'd be a pointless exercise in pointlessness. I've done that a lot. What, you've exercised a pointless exercise? No, I've exercised pointlessly. Oh. Slightly different. All right, we can leave. I didn't really want to... I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> oh, beaver power. Ow. Oh, you got him back his shape. Or no, wait, what? Yeah, yeah I gave him his shape oh. so I can have the safety certificate. What are you doing? I have a safety certificate and you don't. Put that down. You don't know how to operate it safely. It's just like the cars in Quack City. This is where you all live. The weirdest part of, um... Tailspin was when the really buff duck got a gun. Did that? Did that happen? I hope. Could be funny. Oh, you didn't actually watch it? No. Why are you talking about Tailspin then? Who gave you the right? Because it's funny. Oh my God! Just die! I was thinking. They have like completely randomized health. I was thinking about Ducktales. 
No one gets through again until I see a safety I have it. Have you seen the shape I have on this? For your such a... Yeah, I'm can... very safety conscious. Thank you for recognizing my safety consciousness. I like how they wouldn't go against Vigo enough to just let you in. They're like, I can get you in, but I at least need to like pretend I was doing my job and made sure you had the right paperwork. Well, they only... They only respect us because we're safe. They wouldn't. They wouldn't help us out if we were. Right. They were also worried about you killing them all, so they respect that too. Yeah, but only with the when we, they took the threatened to take the babies hostage. You know? And and Vigo did. Yeah, but it, we know it's not their fault. Uh, I gotta take it out on them. They hope not. What are we, fucking savages? They are fucking animals with guns. Yeah. And don't forget it. <laughs> They're not stuffed animals with guns. Ah, I see what you did there. Oh I've my been, god, I made him jump in the air. I've been rused. Uh, let me see here. Let me make this even Put simpler. animals with guns in there. Oh. Something straightforward, something real simple. Oh, it's already gone. Oh, wait, I think I remember this. You gotta push it into that. What the hell? Oh, somebody poured concrete on it, man. You stuck in there. What? Yeah. They poured concrete on someone, and he is stuck in the. He's dead! No, he's not. You can hear him talking. That's actually a really good point. If he was dead, he wouldn't be talking. I don't know. I like that. I don't like that he's got three arms, but pretty good. Uh, <laughs> pretty good. Why not, you know? <laughs> That's what I say. the coolest dog ever. Yeah, check it out, Chris. Oh, ooh. Oh, cool. That actually works. That's I'm awesome. I'm swinging. I'm swinging, dang a langing. Fuck. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, there's a fucking crate you could break. Yeah. That's dope. That's satisfying. Yeah. That's good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Can you break the Get out of control. Can you can you break the rest of the truck? Woo! Woo! The baby's gonna die. <laughs> Alright. I forget how to get out. There we go. Here's this dog. He's a very strange looking gun. I don't like this one. And I don't know what he's aiming at me. Oh, it was one of the babies in the concrete. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, no. One of the other crates had a bibble. Oh, no. There's so much machine oh, gun ammo. you can just break those. Oh, oh, my God. Not with a gun. You should melee. Save your ammo, friend. <laughs> No one will get tired of that sound. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. I like that dog. Yeah. I don't know what government he works for or where he got that gun, but I want it. That's the most exotic firearm I've ever seen. <laughs> that's just... Correct, and, uh, yeah. All right, pretty good. All right. All right, so I found one of the dogs, but I don't know how to, uh... Cat with gun. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I, be I think I, I think I know. 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 I was going to Google something. I think I know. I think I know. Oh, my God. I don't know what this is doing over here, but... That's part of the gun. 
I like that one. Yeah, that was just good. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Uh, Alright, I thought I had an idea, but I guess I didn't. He's in motion. He's disassembling it. He ate it. I think. Oh. Let's run that one one more time. Give me something better. Um, I don't know how to get up there. Oh, it looks like you come in from the left. Uh, there's no Klimbies anywhere. I mean, if there is, I don't know where it is. I can't see it nowhere, or even somewhere. Yeah. Uh, there's that, but not even Hop Along could Hop Along. I need to turn back into a dog. Oh, look at that. Away. Do away. Ding, ding, what is ding. your face? Oh, <laughs> the being. I was in a war. It was in three wars, it looks like. <laughs> At least. <laughs> oh, jeez. That cat's been in a war. He's doing the steppy. Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> he's got the little... He's actually holding it. Good. That's a fur fighter right there. It is. Tiny little arm with a... G it's one of... Uh, one of Juliet's kids, probably. Pretty good. Damn, I was gonna Google Google something. Oh no, I was gonna tell you. Since I got a little extra money, um, you're giving it to me. No, oh. I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate your your vigor and your spirit on that though. Um, I decided to finally buy a uh, soldering iron. Wow. So then I can finally pick up an N64. Mod in the RGB chip I have, and then might start buying N64 games. Ah. Um. Yeah. So we can play on an even more cursed controller. Yes. Because uh, there's some games on that I want to play. Are becoming obvious to me now. We could also play Doom 64. Yeah, we could do that without that though. Why is Chang here? That confuses me the most. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen one opportunity for Chang's power to be relevant. <clears throat> and I feel like that's probably because I'm not being observant. Is this, is this the first stage? Um, yes. That's probably why. It's just, it, it lets you play around with the different characters. and Yeah. Mm. I don't know, man. Well, this is where you got your certificate. Oh. Wow, they hide a lot of food back there. The hungry beaver. Alright, so up here is where the babo is. Yes. Thank God he didn't breathe. Agnes! Thank God she didn't breathe in concrete dust and fucking die. I would have. Just for fun. See what happens when my dog dad shows up to save me then. Say, nice try, idiot, but I'm gonna. My lungs are gonna. Get fucked. <clears throat> oh, you may have found the way. No. Oh. I thought this was gonna be the way, but it don't connect to nothing. It don't be nothing. It don't do nothing. It only is nothing. I liked the wrecking ball vehicle. I want yeah, to drive it more, but I can Yeah, that was fun. Hello? Oh. I guess you found it. When did this exist? 
Damn platformers fucking with my perspectives. Yeah, they oh. do that. Oh, and it's nothing. I don't like this game. Bam, bam, bling, 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 bling. I guess we're going to go to security land. What exploded? What the fuck? What do you mean? Something's. Oh, something just exploded. I think you're lying again. Oh. I hear it. It's one of the dang peacocks. Oh. I thought you heard a child. So you pulled out the rock. Don't use that on them. That's a waste. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Do they get friendly fire? He left. I didn't know they were gonna have leashing in this fucking game. What a fucking talented entity. Oh, what the hell? Sir? There you go. Oh, I hear a cat baby. I hear a child of puss. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> we come from the puss, and then, you know, depending oh! on... Oh! Oh! Depending on how things go, we return to the puss. I found a chang hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's not inaccurate. <laughs> It sounds like it shouldn't be something you say. I'm just glad oh he God. he's from Hong Kong and not Vietnam. Then we might have some issues. Oh, because he's good in the tunnels. Yeah. Oh, I see the chain teleporter. Oh, wow. It's just the exit. I would have never called these teleporters. I would have completely... I would have completely forgotten that they're called that and just called them the character switchers. Hello, being. That's a, Whoa. That's a bungalow. It is. I wonder where cat being is. Probably a boo. Man. What? They're pretty, they're pretty nice with the auto-targeting. Peacocks. They always hurt me. The old cock and pee. Aha. It's your turn for expiration. Being from above. Wow, that's it? You did it. You found it, Ryan. Oh my god, dude. Chang is such a Wait. Crappy... Oh. Nope, that's it. Chang, why do you exist? Diversity I mean, aside from, ma aside from making some cool music, that's about it. Diversity I'll, I'll quota? Just an early Ow. version of it. Whoa. Oh yeah, hell we got. One more work week until I am off for many a day. What will you do? <clears throat> Where will we go? Probably drink too much alcohol and probably the liquor store. Oh. Yeah. Plasma. Can I... Hey! There you go. I got a plasma gun. That's man. a bottle of fucking Fiji water. You thought. I'll fucking disintegrate you. I'll find you a new family. Oh my god, he yeah, just... Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> He wanted to die. He wanted to die another way. We don't. We don't talk about him. He saw his friend get incinerated and was like, "No, nah, I'm good." Oh yeah, this one was pretty good. I forgot about this. <laughs> Mick funeral. <laughs> uh. Oh my God! Even the plasma is a little. Too weak for crocodile Dundee. Oh, a cat. What the hell? Cheng, why do you even exist, my guy? You you never 
You don't have any children. Chain, do you even have a wife? I don't... Does he? Fucking, uh... Uh, tweak what? Oh. You're in the shit soup now. I remember this part of Conker's Good Fur Day. Good Fur Day? <laughs> yeah! Oh, wow. I found all the tokens. Nice! Thank you for obstructing my screen with that. I don't know where. Chang, why, why you? Can you explain that at least? <laughs> what, what the hell what you, even is your problem? What are you doing here? Now watch, I'm gonna go get Juliet and then suddenly all of Chang's progeny will appear at once. I mean, we don't even know where her progeny is. Yeah, I do, I was just there. I know it's there, but I don't know where. I know where it is. Why? Because I saw it. Oh. I thought you I were more her. powerful than that. I am. I'm more powerful than you can possibly imagine. I can steal children and return them home at the same time. Oh, yeah. I guess I never asked him. Oh. What does that mean? Oh, there's a vehicle in there. Oh. Oh. If you want another vehicle section, which I do, but not right now. I'm on a journey. I'm on a mission. I'm on a. I'm. I have duties. I'm I here have responsibilities. to. I'm here to slap a jetpack onto an infant mammal. That's right. And you can't stop me, because you're a ghost. It's impossible. Think like a hamster if you want to. Oh, uh, you have to run in the wheel. Yeah, I'm not doing that, though. Oh, there's a fucking... Do <sighs> I don't like this level because the teleporters are too far from the babies. Yeah. Like, don't make me work, right? It's a little goofy. What the hell? What are you doing? Oh. Thinking like a hamster. I thought... Oh, I it has to be the right wheel. Ooh. Yeah. Gotta get in the... I can't tell if it's moving. I don't think it is. Hey, there, hey, we, go. there we go. You have to right. Ryan, you have to use that wheel. Yeah. It was the answer don't all along. Don't you fucking get it, dude? I'm sure Juliet appreciates being used for the manual labor task. Uh, let me see. Isn't there anything else? There's nothing... I can't even do any. There's a ladder over there you can climb up. What? Yeah, on the other side with the. What? Oh no, never mind. Oh my god. I get. Kristen, can, what if you go up here? Oh my What's up here? I, this is where her uh, child is. We'll get it. All right. Is it all the way up here? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. That's why they have it all the way up so that you can go there. What a fucking gauntlet. Chris, I was just doing it. You should have seen it. Oh, no, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't filing. I wasn't in my archival processes. Yeah, it's literally... Where the fuck is it? It's at the end of this. So long. Yeah. Why are you surprised by this? You were here. <laughs> Mary Ann. There we go. Good job, Mary Ann. You hid in a weird place. They weren't really working very hard. Kind of disappointed. What? Well, they what? were supposed to be the work... They were supposed to be working for the beavers to get the dam up and running, but they, she was just over there. Uh, yeah. They take, they take a lot of lunch breaks, you know. That's just how it is. A lot of bathroom breaks. But yeah, can't wait to go on my vacation when we lose one of our most senior members. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna be calling you Ain't for sure. Ain't nobody fucking calling. They're me. gonna be like, oh, 
Chris. Oh, like, Chris. It's, it's, oh, it's, uh, oh, Chris. Oh, my God. We need you. It's one thing to call somebody uh, here. When, uh, you know, I don't really cover shifts. It's one thing to call me when I'm not on vacation. They can do that. They can ask me, hey, you want to cover something here, half a shift, whatever. But, you know, I requested this time off, and it's time I got to get paid it for. Is there a bungalow somewhere? I fuck if I know, dude. I... That that would make sense, cause I th I thought I heard a bungalow child. Yeah, you did. So if he's yeah, he's up there. He's on the cliff. Oh my god! I guess we got to get the vehicle out of here. Yeah, I assume we need Chang for that, cause he's here. All right. Let's rub our faces against the door so we can figure out which one we're alive. Yeah. Hey. We All right. Who wants to get oh. fucking... Hmm? I hear a child. Oh, it's Bungalow. It's, whoa! He goes... Eh. Oh! You hear that? Oh, or wait. No, oh, that was a peacock. I think that was a peacock. Uh, there's Bungalow. Hey. He could probably do that platforming stuff back there. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure he could. I thought I heard a cat noise here, but it was just a peacock. <laughs> that would have made me mad. Uh, Especially since you have to use Bungalow to get up here. So it's like, oh, well, now oh. you have to use him, and then you got to use... His, his fucking... <sighs> Is this game not awesome, though? It's got a lot of charm to it, but a lot of fucking tedious bullshit. Well, that's also because I'm... 100%ing the game at the same time, which is not necessary. Oh, there. oh yeah, the flat boy. I mean, this isn't the type of game that you just kind of... I'll grab this child, but then I'm finishing the level. Why would... That shit sucks. Do you have to jump onto it, or do you have to leave? I gotta jump on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I guess I can just wait for him to go. Oh my god. He doesn't know how to stop. See, look. He's just going. He's Yeah, he's just going to work. I will say, that's one of the most interesting steamrollers I've ever seen. Yeah? I like that it was in a garage exactly the right width, which means it probably took a lot of effort to get it in there. No, they built it in there, man. You might be thinking, there was no room to work with. Oh. It's probably fine. Ow. 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 This huh. is terrible. Oh, you couldn't even go past that point? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All okay, right. I, I think I get it. Yeah. It's bad. All right. There's, like, so much in this game. Yeah. Like, wow, that's endearing. That's cute. That's fun. I'm glad they did that. Uh, that's enjoyable. You go into that one little section of the map. Fuck you, 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 fuck you. Shoot rocket launchers while you're in the shit swamp. And you're just like, I just want to get away from the steamroller. Invisible wall and an inv infinite rockets. Get sludged and flattened, nerd. <laughs> Sludged and flattened. You gonna try and ride it? Yeah. It's more fun. Yeah. Kill him. I, I can't. Ride in the back. <laughs> hey, your son, catch the ball. Catch the ball. Catch it. I think they do jump when you shoot them. No, they just jump reflexively. Mm. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Wait, is this thing gonna die? Oh my god, it is. Alright. Oh! It... Oh, it's gonna end up on the other end, oh, so you can oh. so you can go around. Look at him! I know. Yeah. 
He's riding the crest. Oh my god! He is buying those dips. <laughs> he is buying the dip, isn't he? Yeah, it's gonna end up at the end, so you can loop around, I guess, or make that gap there. Oh, well, that's that. Time to go back. I'd like to know why streaming has made me really hungry the last couple of weeks. Uh, you're burning brain calories. I am not. Can he? <laughs> why? <laughs> oh my god, the ro the steamroller's coming. He down. is, he is. Good old Why couldn't I shoot him? Good old timed event. Uh I guess I gotta go find some food now. What a good level. Ugh. Full of wacky and adventures and armed revolt. <laughs> Why? Can you just jump up that? Oh, it's a dog? Yeah! <laughs> I don't I don't know how. I don't know how how do you do it? How do you do it? I'm going wild on that flute, man. They are, dude. Yeah, trying to jump over the Okay. Well yeah, let's investigate. Let's so investigate. Bungalow can do it. Yes. Let's investigate. I need, I need those food cans. This area. See what the hell's going on here. See what the hell's going on here. See what the hell's going on here. You said that multiple times. Yeah. Because we gotta, you know, observe the situation and modify our destiny. <laughs> he sounds like sands when you eat a whole bunch of food at once. Yeah. You don't agree? No, I just agreed. Oh. We I'd... agreed in a way that sounded like you did. <coughs> Alright, what's what's up on top of this boy? What's up on top of that there boy? What? Uh, power sliding dirt. Oh, the plasma came back. So how the fuck? What? No, I... No. I don't know why, but I thought, like... Is he supposed to, like, burrow down somewhere and he comes out in a truck? I would believe it. That they, would be... They might do something that, like that. I would love that. That would be fun. Of course you can't do that. That would be also fun. Yeah, you can't actually have high jump be useful. Or fun. I got full health. I got some plasma. Uh, Ryan, you know what I think is pretty cool? Oh, I like how they incorporated the didgeridoo into Bungalow's mm. track. He's still... Um, he's such a fucking champ, dude. Mm -hmm. I he, wish I could drive a vehicle like he does. He's flattening the, the, the shit lake. No. Dude, I... I love this. This is fun. Ryan, you, I am enjoying it. You know what I like? Hmm. I love mutually assured destruction. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I do. Oh, he can't see me. I, hey, I got him. I think it makes a whole heck of a lot of sense. I do, too. Oh, you gotta... You use it to... Cross over there. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He's slowing down for you. There you go. Wow. But you know, you know why, Ryan? No. It wouldn't let me jump! <clears throat> wait, wait, no. I can recover. Ooh. It's because I think that that fact of, of mutually assured destruction. He's coming down, dude. That's fine. He's gonna get you. I think that 
is a better preventative than the Geneva Convention on bad things. <laughs> you know, he did come after me. He just fell in the water and drowned. What a what a Chad. He he wish he wishes he was as Chadly and alpha male as that uh, steamroller driver. Or any of these animals that have fucking tens of kids. Yeah. Madge. Is that a name? Show us your Madge. Mm. <laughs> oh. Just a kid. <clears throat> Where did you all come from? Work. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how they were dressed, you idiot? <laughs> it's it's too straightforward of an answer. <laughs> how are there two more babies? What the fuck, dude? I'm I mean we know where the dog is. I really am just like fucking out of my mind hungry right now. Jesus. Where is I can offer you hot hard times. Yeah. That's a good idea. It Get won't you. solve my hunger, but it'll make my mouth taste like yes. broth, so... Yes. I mean, it's like... It's the same idea with chewing gum. You just kind of chew on it, and you forget for a little bit that you're hungry. Mm. It's chewing meat. Mm. Yeah, evidently. Mm. The satisfaction of a nice beef jerky is not that... Not just that it tastes good, it's texture. Mm. Agree. You need to have a good chew. Oh my god, there's nobody in there! Ghost shit! Go ghost shit! Wait a minute. It's a chang hole! Ah! It's dang old Chang Ho! Dang old Chang Ho! I knew that boy was out here digging his Chang Ho. Digging around in his Chang Ho in public. They say Chang. I don't know how to tell you this, but you gotta stop digging them Chang holes in the workplace. <laughs> you gotta stop digging around in your Chang hole in public. You can dig it in, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so stupid. I love it. You can dig in your asshole, but, but don't be digging in your Chang hole. <laughs> we are fully stocked on your bullshit. Oh, he's gonna find one of his babies in his Chang hole. That's where they're... I That's like to Sue think his, I like to think his name is just 500. I like it. Yeah. I named him 500 because that's how good of me he's going to be. He's going to be like 500 of me. Wow, what did you do, Chang? The, uh the war. Hmm. I think that's what it says in here. Mhm. Mm I think he was in the war. The war. Yeah. Oh my god, I have to go all the way back for the freaking dog. <laughs> and then you have to figure out how the hell you're supposed to get it. Oh, fuck, you're right. God damn it. You know, I had forgotten about that part. I was happy. I wasn't happy. I was happy that I had to backtrack all the way to the fucking beginning of the stage to get the dog. But then I remembered... Once I make it all the way back to the end of the stage, I have to pick up my kid. <laughs> and that ruined it for me. And that fucking tears it. I just saw... I don't understand why... Hmm? I still don't understand why... What this did. Got you these. That's it? Mm -hmm, unless... Unless there's a Chang hole up ahead. I don't think there's a dang old Chang hole. Let me open the security gate. 
<clears throat> Do I look like a security personnel? I'm not. Do I? L well, you are armed, so I hope so. I want to know where you go to get security personnel with a plasma gun. And they wear only a shirt and nothing else. Tesla? <laughs> I need a job at Tesla. <laughs> Armed security, you, you have fucking future weapons. You know, honestly, uh. I'd be pretty fucking terrified to rob a place that arms their security personnel with flamethrowers. It's like, no trespassing. You will die, and it will hurt the whole time you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, fair enough. I want the equivalent, but uh, the British version. Uh, three strapping lads from uh, uh, the Peaky Blinders hold you down while a guy just lights your coat on fire with oh, a no. match. No, no, no. They'd have jars of acid. Oh, all right. <laughs> Acid attacks and, uh... Sir? The British land are... Yeah, a thing. Oh, I went too far. You could also just get, like... Uh... <laughs> some squares of lithium metal. Just throw them at people and spray them with a hose. Fucking explode. Alright, so we're oh, here. Is that? Can do that? I mean it feels like it would be that, but I don't think I can I think you can. Oh you might be right. Ah You might be right if you were right. It fe it feels right. Wait a minute. Does it need to be at the right Yeah, like part way? Yeah. So it can't be all the way. So you have to pull it back a little bit. Oh. I knew I hated this game. Can I even move it backwards? Yeah, okay. Well, it's fucking moving. All right, we'll, we'll go with that. That's that's a little safer. A little bit more of a, Jesus, a big jump. Nope, further back. So that we're higher up. Oh! Yeah. Ryan just becomed. I did. I like to be coom. I learned how to do that when I was digging around in my chain hole. Mm. <laughs> Honey, where'd I put my car keys? In your chain hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always leaving stuff in the chain hole. The dang old chain hole. <laughs> That's where I had the divorce papers because she doesn't touch my changle anymore. <laughs> Why would you hide the divorce papers <laughs> so she doesn't know you're divorced? Yeah. No, she doesn't know that he plans to divorce her. But he'll never dig them out because he loves her too much. And then one day she goes into the changle just for old time's sake. And he goes... <laughs> Honey, like, how about we have a night in the chain <laughs> She's like, what the hell is this? It's like, oh. I changed my mind. She says, why didn't you dig them out of your chain hole then? I always lose stuff in my chain hole. You know that. Babe, you know me. I lose things in my chain hole all the time. I can't help it. Anybody who just like jumps through our stream <laughs> they fucking get to the part where we keep saying chang hole good and we just can't stop all right you know this weapon seems pretty good fueled by green mountain dew damn guy was alive for the third time in his life. He wasn't very lively, though. Oh, here we go. Here we go what? Oh, fucking! I hate this guy. Oh, Jesus. Red. I gotta be quiet. Down, left, right. Up. Down, 
left, right, up. Up, right, left, down. Oh. Up, right, left, down. Up, left, right, down, up. Ah, oh, right, left, up, down, left, right, left, up, down, left. Oh my god. Left, right, up, down, right, left. left. Oh, good. The disc reader had to fucking do a little floss in there. He really is pretty mighty, huh? Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't just do everything for us. I guess the commander has to stay behind and make sure all the other troops are... Ch that's just there. Yeah, yeah that's just there. And destroy the cultural beaver shrine so you can get fucking bibbles. Ugh. You think there is an N64 game that you would like to play? I can't imagine there is. You might like Quest 64. That was pretty fun. It's like, uh, imagine the Grandia combat, but you actually run around in that limited area. And then you can cast the spells, and they're all area spells. I can cast my own spells, my very own spells for me and no one else? Uh, I think there's also... Well, no, that was only released in Japan. I still want to get it. Um... Oh my god, you survived too many bullets, sir. We could also play the OG Smash Brothers. Yeah. I would be surprised if I get a copy of that. That wait, isn't this where Mother Dearest is? Uh oh. I think they said oh my to God, there's so many. I think he said to go to the door last, but I might be wrong. Oftentimes I am wrong. That's why I don't speak. You know what I've noticed a severe lack of? What? Rico. Yeah, because he always requires water. I think down here is probably where the boss is. Oh, yeah, this is... Yeah, I think this is level two. This reminds me of Crash Ban not Cr Crash Team Racing World, where you're driving around the little hub world. And oh, no, he's up there. That's the final boss. Oh. I remember from Wake there. up! Right, let's go in the water and see what's down there. But, uh, yeah, even in, like, the final stages of, uh, you know, the the Quack Tower event, um, there was just, like, no Rico. Yeah. And then you did that entire stage just now, no Rico. I think everybody else was there. No, no tweak. There was no tweak in the last stage. Yeah. But he had his moment. <clears throat> I think they need to limit the character sometimes, too, just so that you don't... Uh, mm, get confused. Well, you don't finish areas the wrong... Like, by, like, doing things out of bounds. Mm, yeah. Because, like, tweak might allow you to do things, like, reach areas you're not <clears throat> supposed to go. Yep. Speaking of areas, I'm not supposed to go. That's, that's one of them. That's a no. That's a good. I that's a good thing to keep in mind when you've got different characters with different accessibilities. I really like his swim is so unconvincing. I, I actually really liked the downtown area that you were in. Yeah, that was good. It was very well done. It was a bit convoluted at times, but like I could not have navigated it if um. 
if you told me, Chris, you have to navigate it. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm, guess I'm gonna be changed then. Just landed right that in it. That was wild. But, uh, I thought, it, I thought I liked a lot of the challenges. <laughs> the water tower thing was kind of stupid, but... Yeah, that was not great. I guess I'll do the dam next. I kind of wanted to go to God Machine Hello. Valley, but I have a feeling they have something in it that makes it so you can't do it out of order. Because uh, if I remember correctly, God Machine Valley has... Um, that's over here. Yeah. Fuck it, we're going to try it. I think God Machine Valley has a new weapon. Oh, and it's okay. one that I really want to have, so... We're just about at three hours. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you'll get to see it, and yeah. then we'll stop there. I'm su I don't know why it's called God Machine. It's pretty evident once you see it. Machine Leaf Valley can oh, can lead you to a giant surprise. <clears throat> Ryan, what what would? Oh my God! Yeah, see, it's a it's a fur fighterized version of that giant excavator, or the world's largest excavator. Is it? Yeah. What the fuck? What do you mean? For a fur fighter? What? It's a fur fighter stylized version of the world's largest excavator. Oh, oh! Yeah, there's like a ridiculously <clears throat> super-sized fucking excavator in Europe somewhere. So if I look up yeah. biggest e excavator, yeah, the world's largest excavator. I bet it's not bigger than. It's definitely bigger than a Gundam by a lot. No. MiningTechnology.com. They should appreciate it. No. Uh, no, I don't. I, don't accept it. I thought it was an excavator. Maybe it's a different type of machine that I don't know about. I know about the giant dump truck. It has the big whirly... There it is. Oh. Yeah, that's real. That's it. You're gonna ask me for some fucking cookies. Damn. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And it's mobile, too. Yeah. They drive that bitch around. Oh my god. 8,600 square feet of tread. 8,600 square feet of tread! Yeah. Carry the 13,000 tons of weight at a stately 0.4 miles per hour. 5,600 feet of electrical cables. 88,000 pounds of paint cover it. 71 feet tall. The bucket wheel. The, the wheel yeah. is seven stories high. Whew. Each of its buckets is 7,700 pounds when they're empty. Whew. That's fucking cool. Yeah, that thing's stupid. <laughs> I like it. I, I, I could beat it in a fight. I believe you. I can run faster than it. So how would you beat it? Arrows. And I would win. All right. I, I would flee and shoot arrows at its cables. One, one might think, Chris, 
where will you get more arrows? I have time to get some on the way <laughs> when I leave. <laughs> the fucking truck's following by. That's great. Yeah, I think I sure hope you get some dirt. <laughs> Jenny? All right, I'm just trying to keep it lined up. Next, next time you can find some dirt. That's great. Yeah, I really liked. Uh, I really liked this area. I really liked the city as well. Um, <clears throat> the spaceport was really good up until the boss. Mm. Worst boss in the game. Fucking hate it. Um. Is that the flea? Oh, huh? I've seen some levels in the speedrunners thing, and everything at the end is called flea. I don't know what that means. Oh, me neither. <clears throat> I know uh, the one area uh, to get uh, Bungalow's wife. Everyone's really tiny. What? It's like a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids thing. So it's like in a house in Australia. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's always a pretty pretty easy, fun thing to do. Uh, they had that in Vex as well. Yeah. There's a world where you're just... It's just someone's fucking living room. Uh, this audio is pretty good for a, a console as old as the Dreamcast. Oh, I'm not surprised. They made the left to right stereo yeah. of the machine here. Yeah, they made uh no, they made the Dreamcast well. This is the fucking console where the cable that you normally hooked up your PC monitor with, you could use it with a Dreamcast. The VGA. Hmm. So you could get some really good video quality. I can't use that. Not without some you know, horn doggling. Also, you can't get audio through VGA. Correct. I, think, so. I would need an adapter. More weird fucking shit. That's yeah. that's the only thing where the Dreamcast did not help me. But I figured, you know, Ryan was such a such a uber mensch about the Dreamcast. I was like, let's make it work. I'll make it work because there's actually some really cool fucking games on Dreamcast. Ugh. We just gotta afford them. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll get some more. Eventually. I uh right now I seem to be on a kick of buying PS1 games. Um Yeah. I don't know why. I just find more PS1 games I want to get. I think I think it's because they're right on the That was right on the verge of uh games being long. But, like, just barely into 3D. Yeah. So. Because, you know, a Nintendo, an NES game could be fucking long. If they if they done did it right. Oh, my God. The first Final Fantasy alone was yeah. ridiculous. They had to, they had to. Mostly because of the grinding, but. Yeah. But they, they had to optimize shit. Audio couldn't be too big, but it took up the most space, definitely. Uh, well, the 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 fact that there was an entire side quest series where, once you got the airship, you could go to the, you know, you could go to Bahamut's castle and mm. go through the trial of ordeals and upgrade everyone's class, like that was brand new to the to the RPG world. Yeah, I, I guess Square might have invented the the place the area of test yourself because. They do that in all their fucking games. Enix yeah. did it too. And then, well, you know, they fucked. And now they're Squeenix and they can't make anything good. I don't know. Final Fantasy XIV is pretty good. Well, there's one. Yeah. It's the only one they need, evidently, because it makes so much money they have to stop selling digital copies. Because yeah. they ran out of digital <laughs> copies. Which is insane. <laughs> I think it's doing better than uh, World of Warcraft is now. Yep. I only just recently learned that people call the version... Uh, the World of Warcraft today is called Retail. Huh. And I, I think it's because you can basically... Because there's been so many fucking expansions... 
You basically just pay an amount of money. I don't think it's much. So that you can, like, skip all of the classic content. Uh, which is... Vanilla, Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King. And some of the others. Maybe one or two in between there. Cataclysm. You can skip those and get right to what the current thing is. Yeah. And uh, people call that retail. And uh, I... Man, I wouldn't even know how people get into WoW today. But, um, yeah, it sounds awful. Um, but, you know what? World of Warcraft sounds a hell of a lot better than Diablo Immortal. Yes. I, I seen Circle Tunes, little animation about it, where, uh, you know, it was like, ah, here's this thing that says you need to buy three things and you can get a legendary item. And it says zero out of three and nothing else. Oh, okay. Then you right. put the three in. How would you like to put in seven more? Oh, you did see it? <laughs> or you know about it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that just, like, pops up in his little animation. Ooh, there's seven that you need to buy now. <laughs> it's like, are you fucking... Unbelievable. The... The shillery is just... It's undisguised. Give me... It's its literally the fucking speech that Charlie gave his mom in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, but they have $60 million and you don't, so... If it was so wrong, why'd they make so much money? Did they make it off of this? Diablo Immortal, yeah. They made sixty million off of Diablo Immortal already. Yeah. <laughs> a Asmongold explained it pretty well. It's because <laughs> it seems ludicrous to you. Like you, you yeah. think, how could anyone possibly not hear about all this bullshit and get tricked into buying mm. any of this crap? Yeah. It's because the Venn diagram mm. of people who are in the Twitch stream YouTube sphere. Mm -hmm. And the people who just download an interesting looking game on their phone. Mm, yeah. That's way bigger, and there's almost no overlap. Is it free to play? Yeah. Ah, uh, I did not know that. I, so, I, I also keep forgetting it's on phone. Yeah. And available in China. How unfortunate. Yeah. Well. I'll look forward to other games, wherever they are. And I was pretty hopeful about Damon X Machina. Uh, what else is coming out? Oh, yeah. You know what? Uh, fucking, with all these... Just thinking about all the games that are coming out that are just not going to be worth it. Like, I think, I think Starlink is going to end up being pretty decent. Like, even if it's not what they promise and it's going to be really shallow, it's like, oh, you got a thousand planets that you can explore, and they're all going to be randomly generated or something. And yeah, there's not going to be anything in there. And, and, the, and the story's going to suck, and, the, you know, all of the combat is just going to be hallways where you shoot people and other areas where you shoot people some more and their health bars get bigger and you get a gun that has this buff on it and they're they got their fucking perk system it's like i mean bethesda already struggled to make up uh all the dungeons that were in skyrim yeah you know like half the skyrim dungeons were just like boring it was just like a couple of guys chilling out in a cave with a big table Ooh. where they ate turkey what did they say about oblivion like all of the all 50 handcrafted dungeons and it's like no you copied and pasted yeah um but you know, I I'll I'll look forward to Starlink because I think I think I could just delve into that game and just have fun with it. They they at least have a track record of having games that are well, no Fallout seventy six and Fallout four were kind of. Mm. Oh, did you did I ever tell oh. you about Eve Online oh. and what they what they've been going through recently? That no Eve Online yes. What so, Evil Online has been struggling with uh, making enough revenue that they can continue to expand the game. Yes. Um, 
and continue operating costs okay. while still being at least somewhat profitable. Yeah. Uh, because the game's very old, mm -hmm. you know. It's and the type of gameplay that it offers is not something that's appealing to any new generations. Like people who are getting into gaming right now, there is no way you're ever going to convince them to play Evil Online. Yeah. It's basically impossible. So, you know, they've been doing a variety of things over the course of the year to get more people to play it, you know, including going free to play and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah. Um, the subscription service just makes it so that you get skills faster. Um, you could subtract skills from your character and turn them into items and then trade them, you know, to try and get people to buy more uh, in-game currency with real money through the company right. and then you could buy the skills from other players so that they can increase their subscription time you know that kind of thing um, they recently offered a single bundle where you could get a mining ship that was completely set up and ready to go mm -hmm. for 20 bucks this is the first time they have ever allowed somebody to pay money to get a ship Ah, and the community was not having it. So what they did is every last person that was like that they had that had like any streaming numbers at all, all of them just started their stream, put up a screen that just says like, we don't approve of how, you know, CCP is exploiting the player base for money. Uh, here's a website with the player's demands. Is that, you know, and stuff like that. Is that what was happening? Or huh? is it what? CCP? CCP is the company. Oh! Okay, CCP is also... Yeah. Yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah, so they were talking about, you know, CCP is doing this stuff. These are our demands. You know, this is the will of the player base and that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, it happened so much that at the end of one of the developer streams from uh, EVE Online... Uh, they had the auto host feature on, so they would just automatically start hosting a popular Eve uh, streamer, mm -hmm. and they hosted a Eve streamer that had that on their screen. So the official Twitch channel had the thing up saying like CCP's exploiting the player base. Uh, they took the vehicle out of the shop. It's it's unfortunate because like. You know, I, I can I completely understand what the players mean. It's just they're not making the money anymore, so they got they got to come up with something. Yeah, uh, amazingly, uh, Evil Line is still doing better than uh, New World, which is funny. What is New World? Uh, Amazon's MMO. Really, you didn't even hear about that? No, what is Amazon that? like started their own game development studio and threw like millions of dollars into it and like one of Eddie's friends was a developer for it. Is New World a game or a company? Yeah, it's a new game. It's a Oh, it's a game. I know that game. Yeah. Yeah, it looked boring. Yeah, it it's already dead. It it looked exactly like all the other caveman survival games I've seen. Where you fuck it's around not a survival games, MMO. Looked like the same shit. You, oh, you're in an open world with other people, but you're cave people or some shit. It's like no, it's not cave people. You're thinking of uh, Ark. I'm I'm thinking of Ark, Valhalla, uh, fucking all the, all those games. They they look the same to me. Yeah. You run around with a bunch of half naked men and whack at shit and wave your arms around and pretend you're friends and log off and then forget that. All of your friends left town ten years ago, and you keep, there's nobody to hang out with. <laughs> yeah. So you got to you got to drive your dad to work tomorrow because he got a DUI. Getting a little serious. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, at least yeah. they're doing better than that. But still, yeah. it's well. um. I think the big problem is is that um. Slowly but surely, I think the relationship between the EVE player base and CCP is becoming toxic because <clears throat> CCP can literally... They made one attempt to, like... They made, like, one Hail Mary attempt to make EVE Online a big game again so they could make enough money to keep doing the thing, the things that they like to do. 
Uh, and that was dust 514. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't a bad idea. Yep. Um, unfortunately, it failed. Yeah. And uh, that was all the money they had left to make new games, I think. So well. now it's just like <laughs> CCP is just slowly handing out the drug that the community that stuck around is still addicted to. Yeah. And uh, if they try to change too much or if they try to monetize it in a way that they don't like or anything... The rest of them will just pack up and leave, and then they'll have no one. I, you know, it's unfortunate because it's like, obviously, the other way out would be, you go the Blizzard route. Ignore everyone, and just keep doing stuff purely to get new players. They could do that. I don't know if it would work, and nobody would like it. But maybe some people would come and play. Alternatively. Eve 2. They can never do that. They can never do that. Yeah. It just cannot happen. Yeah. It, which is a shame because I love the universe that they built for that game. I think it's one of the most interesting sci fi worlds that has ever been conceptualized. Yeah. Or, it, I mean, if they, if they were to do something like that, to try and make my. It'd be a gamble. It'd be a fucking gamble with the amount of money they don't have but it would have to be very different and very dumbed down in order to get in a new player base yeah. and uh yeah everybody who liked eve before would be like we're just gonna play normal eve and then they could be like oh those servers they're not gonna be around little baby cakes they're not gonna be around oopsie and you know yeah. i don't know yeah, it's such a it's, man it's such a great story mm. I, I always love too, like that the 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 faction in that world that does the most evil, the worst people, the Amarians, they're the ones that have all the information about what humans were like, like before the Eve Gate situation happened on, and they got cut off from Earth. Yeah, and they know that humanity is not a very friendly place, and and humans were in a bad place to begin with when Eve Gate happened, and this cultural reset that everyone went over was actually kind of a good thing. And then the in the one expansion, all the other factions got together like, we're going to fix the Eve Gate so we can go speak with the Terrans. We'll get all this cool technology and we'll reconnect with our lost ancestors and everything will be really awesome. And then, like, they find... The Omarians find out Eve Gate's almost done. Send literally everything they have in a suicide mission to just shoot up the Eve Gate as hard as possible before it turns on. And, like, just barely manage it. And they're like, what the hell was that for? It's like, you don't want them to be able to come see us. And all they... Terrans are scary. They're, They're fucking awful people who think we've shut down the Eve gate on purpose and they want to murder us and take all the resources that we stole from them because that was their ticket to restoring Terra back to its uh, glory after millennia of environmental abuse. Yeah. Don't don't believe the Terran's apology <laughs> video where they say they were in a dark place when they said the gamer word. That's right. Don't believe them. They don't mean it. They're gonna come out here and they're gonna say the gamer word a whole lot more. Yeah, one of their one of their weapons is called the gamer word. <laughs> I'm just imagining a big cannon that just says it on it. Yeah. <laughs> Another one that says Steve Jobs. <laughs> what about Steve Jobs? Ligma balls. <laughs> Anybody who says. Anybody who says the name of the weapon, it just targets them just <laughs> with the sound waves of Ligma balls and they explode. <laughs> What's the targeting area of the weapon? What weapon are you talking about? <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> well, <clears throat> more games next week. Yes. More furred fighters, and ideally, uh, gonna be playing the second Grandia. 
Ryan's gotta go eat some food before he dies. Yeah. And me? Well, you know where I'll be. Where will you be? I don't know. I was hoping you'd know. <laughs> I was asking. I don't know. You know where I'll be? I don't know. You want some baked oatmeal? No. I'm not a huge fan of it, 